What is going on, everybody? How are you doing? It's what's going on. How are you guys doing? It's good to see you. The music stopped, but that's okay. We're going to get this fixed in just a second here. Okay, there we go. Get it here and hit play. There we go. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. I am your host, Roby Tick. Uh, Roby Tech. Roby Tick. Roby Tech. I was just looking at the uh, everybody uh, celebrating. Today we are live celebrating the launch of the Partner 4070 card. So these are all the cards that are basically above MSRP. And thanks to our team over at Zotac uh, for sending us their special edition uh, Amp Aero 4070. We're going to be using that in today's build with a case that we've been waiting for, right? Like this is the, core, the Cooler Master TD500 uh, Mesh V2. Um, we've been waiting for some time for this case to release, and then I just found out that it's still not out yet. So uh, we're currently waiting for it, um, and so I'm excited to uh, build inside of this. We, we I wanted to build a PC instead of going like bonkers and putting like screens everywhere and all that sort of stuff and streamers. I was like, you know what? We need to build a build that um, we need to build a build that cost you know sub 2k right like it's actually at a good price it's not it's not too expensive it's it's more in line with the build that you would want to have uh that you would pair with a 4070 right and so i've actually have a number of people that even though people are really kind of bummed about uh the cost of 4070 it's still a card that a lot of people are very interested in where is the kick sub goal so hold on looks like that one is not showing up there it goes all right, so there we go. We got the kick goal going on there. So anyway, we are currently working on uh, getting this stoked. Um, and so uh, we're, we're, uh, we're uh, get this going and all that sort of stuff. But I do want to go through all the giveaways that are happening. So we are going to announce today the winner of the St. Patrick's Day build. The build we're building today is going to be the sub giveaway um, for the folks uh, over on Twitch and uh, Twitch and Discord. So if you want to get in on that, you got to be a subscriber either on Twitch or Discord. If you subscribe on both, you're actually uh, combined. So you're going to win this 4070 5800X 3D system. This is going to be up for grabs. Um, the other thing too is that we also now have the giveaway on Kick. So to celebrate with Kick, just so Kick gets a little bit of love, we're also, if we get to 300 subs, uh, over on kick.com slash robytech. We will also add a, G a CPU to that. So we'll be giving away a 13600K uh, along with whatever GPU that we give away. So remember, as we go up in subs, every 100 or so, we start to upgrade the CPU, I'm sorry, the GPU, and then we're gonna have a 13.6 that goes with it all the way. So you can win all the way up to a 4090 and a 13600 CPU if you're uh, subscribed over at kick.com slash uh, robytech. So, those are kind of those giveaways. Now remember, if you subscribe to tier one on Twitch, you get three entries. Subscribe to tier two, you get five. Subscribe to tier three, you get 10. And every gifted sub gets you an additional entry. And in fact, the person who won the PC, um, he had done some gifted subs, but had only done three. So I know some people are like, dang it. But yes, just to let you guys know, um, we have a, uh, even if you do a little bit, you'd be amazed what your chances are of winning, which is actually pretty cool. Um, we have, uh, anyway, so that's for the giveaways there. Remember also, we get 250 likes over on youtube.com slash rubytechlive. We give away a $25 new gift card. And if we get a level five hype train over at twitch.tv slash rubytech, we'll also give away a $25 new gift card. So lots of giveaways up for grabs, both on kick.com and also over here at youtube.com and on Twitch, as well as our Facebook faithful, faithful as well. So what are we doing today? Well, today we're gonna to be building inside of the Cooler Master TD500 Mesh V2. Uh, it should be a pretty epic build again, sub $2,000. And then the last thing I want to remind people of is that we still have two PCs. One of the PCs is sold. Two PCs up for grabs over at robytech.com slash PCs for sale, both at ridiculously low prices. So if you're looking for a really good PC for around $3,000, we have a 7900 XTX slash 7900 X build and also a completely custom water-cooled build that we're putting up for sale. So those are all happening as well. So lots, lots of cool stuff. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. It's gonna be a really, really great stream and we're gonna have a lot of fun today. So how is everybody doing? Now that I've done the spiel, how is everybody doing? And then uh, it does, it has a uh, it has an etching in it. And let's go ahead and bring in our, our techs because they are ready to come in. Now that we've done the intro and all that sort of stuff, we'll uh, we'll kick it off and get our techs in voice. It looks like it's only one tech today and that is BMOC. So let's get a test here with BMOC. Let's see if he's live. BMOC, can you hear me? I can. Okay, we got BMOC in the chat. So we got, and then uh, we got BMOC in the chat and everybody is uh, stoked to be here. Glad to be off work and watching. How are you, my guy? Doing very, very well. I'm having a good day. 
Um, he would love this build. It is an AMD CPU, but not an AMD GPU. And uh, today is the launch of an AMD game. Uh, it's, a, it's like a zero G shooter game. And I was kind of bummed, um, but we like, obviously with the 4070 launching today, we had to do 4070 stuff. So did you start before I showed up? I'm sorry, Kurosaki, I did. I apologize. I will try very hard not to do that again in the future. Um, so I'm, I'm really bad. Uh, and then we, I, guys, just so you guys know, the winner of the PC, I've actually seen that person chat already. So that person has said something in chat, the person who won the St. Patrick's Day build. So that's uh, actually pretty exciting. So, hey, Devoted Phantom, thank you for the tier one sub. So, so uh, Sergeant Nobody, the 4070s were already out, but yesterday uh, was the launch of the MSRP ones, and today is the launch of all the AIBs, yep. I love you too. Yeah, so we got uh, so we we got a lot going on here. And don't worry, there's another PC. We're gonna build it today that that could be yours. So don't worry. Even if you didn't win today, it could be the next one. Could be your the one that you could win. We got some big. Uh, we already got some people putting in some big numbers there. We got Mother Trucka. Uh, we got Igor dropping in there. We got Riddick already putting in some entries. And then don't forget, you also can win a CPU and GPU combo over on kick.com slash robotech if you want to throw, throw some subs over there as well. Trying to get to 300. Remember, 300 is the minimum bar over at kick.com slash robotech. So, uh, yes, the NVIDIA drivers are officially out. It was a 20, 20, uh, it was like 20 version revision from the ones I was using yesterday. So. We might see some different numbers in today's uh, benching. And this is, the system's already set up and ready to go, which is what we like. Um, so we should be able to test some, test some stuff. We got Call of Duty downloaded, Hogwarts, Cyberpunk. Um, I think I downloaded one other thing. So we got some stuff to, to obviously bench. We got hardware info, MSI, MSI afterburners down and ready to go. So we got some stuff to test. Hey, I'm doing good, Miltor. How are you, man? I'm doing very good. Thanks, I'm, I'm glad to see people kind of starting to fill in today. We got B-Mock, it's just me and B-Mock today. It's just me and you, buddy, are you gonna be able to handle it? I'll do my best. See, that is not the attitude we need, B-Mock. We need, we need a can-do attitude, not a can't-do attitude. Everybody tell B-Mock he can do it. You guys aren't supporting him. He's starting, he's starting, he's starting to waver in his commitment. We had a, like a lot of people there last time. Do the Drew dropping five gifted subs. I think we're gonna hit that level five hype stream here pretty quick. So I appreciate that. Yes is the answer. Good. And do wants to win. Do, do obviously wants to win some stuff too. <laughs> I know. I still talk to the techs like they're right there, even though they're not there. <laughs> Sergeant Nobody dropping five gifted subs. Hogwai, here it is. It's already starting, Bebok. We already we already started in on the VRAM conversation. There it is, right there. <laughs> Hey, it's going to be a hot topic for a while. It, it is going to be a hot topic. It is going to be a hot topic. I mean, especially when you look at like a 6950X, like that 6950X for, uh, you know, uh, the, what was it, like $20 less for, uh, for a 6950. So we have some pretty good deals today. Tom's pretty excited about them. Scott Maxfield, thank you for the resub. Guys, one more and we hit that hype train and then we'll start going through, uh, we'll start going through our, our parts list. Can we get some life going over here on the, on the kick side? Get some, get some hype going up over there too, right? We wanna get the, see if we can get another 30 or so subs over on kick.com today um, and get it going in there. I want a kicks. So we're trying to get things going there too. I want a PC kick. Okay, well that's, that's not, I'm not gonna kick you with a PC because I could get arrested for that. Blondie over there using the, using all that multicolored emotes already. Um, but it's good to see everybody. Guys, one more, one more. We got one more hit. Come on, let's do it. We got one more thing and Hype Train has started. And don't forget to hit the likes over at youtube.com slash robytech. Thank you very much, Kurosaki. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hotness today. Uh, would you rather buy out your favorite game? Co oh, so he's asking some questions going in there. Oh, Riddick dropping five gifted subs, getting it going there too. Riddick just got finished buying some uh, Find some new stuff for me. He's gonna be. Uh, he's got some stuff he's working on too, which is cool. Um, so I'm actually really excited to see some of the things he's working on as well. And there we are, guys. Hype train has started over on Twitch. Can we get level five? Can we get level five and just knock it out of the park right off of the bat uh, and kick things off going over there? We're gonna. We're gonna make it great. We're gonna make it great today. We're already at level four. We just got to get two levels. Somebody can make that happen. Hey, what's up, Figment for Life? It's good to see you today. 
I don't think anybody can buy me out, man. I'm worth too much. I'm like Mr. Beast level size already, right? Like, isn't that right, Bmock? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, see? Bmock even agrees. And he, I mean, he wouldn't lie. See? Like, Bmock, isn't Intel the best? Oh, they're all right. <laughs> Maybe he would lie. <laughs> Oh man, Mrs. Robitech is not here today. You need to have him on for a collaboration then. Yeah, everybody's like, AMD. Yeah, 5800X. I don't know if people are more excited about the CPU than the GPU. Um, I, I like, at least I like Zotac. I love the way their GPUs look. So they look different. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. And it's not like this thing performs poorly. So, and for sub $2,000, I'm still pretty happy with the price. Oh, I will. I'll let her know, Figment. I, she may be on later. We'll have to see. Three minutes and 29 seconds, guys. We can do it. Hey, Harja, what's your question? How can I help you? You got an RTX 3070 yesterday. Nice, okay. Okay, following the question so far, I think. Should you return it? How much did you pay for it? Thank you, Figment, for the like. Getting those numbers up. This music is like popping today, guys. We're already at 48 likes over on YouTube. We got Baba Ganoush. Love that name. Can, uh, you know, uh, Bmock, can you change your name to Baba Ganoush Bmock? Just so I can say Baba Ganoush a lot. I mean, I can't even spell it, so. <laughs> it was a 12700 and a 3070 PC for 32 gigs of DDR5 for $1,300. That is actually a really good price, wouldn't you say? D a BMOC, 12,700, 30, 70, 32 gigs of DDR5 for 1,300 bucks. That's ridiculous. That's a really good price. Hey, we got TJ852 dropping his sub, taking us into level five. All we gotta do is finish this out and we are done, guys. What do you think, BMOC, does that seem like, that seems like a good price for 3070, 13.7? He's doing the math. I think he's doing the math, guys. What is the MSRP for this card? I actually don't know. Uh, somebody else is gonna say it. Level four. He's not there, where'd he go? He's there. What would you choose between Zotac or the Asus Tough Gaming? Okay, so here's my deal. Uh, I like the round look of these. I mean, again, both of them are actually really good cards. The audio isn't working. Oh. What was working? What did you do to it, Bmock? He broke his, he broke his audio. Can you hear me, Bmock? Oh, I don't hear you now. Hold on, let me try this. Okay, bringing it back. Does that work? It shows me chalking on the mat, on the thing. Nope. Oh, man. Okay, three minutes and 55 seconds, guys. Let's see, we, I'm gonna work on this. Three minutes, guys, and then we'll get, we'll get started on the give, we'll get started on this whole thing. I don't know what happened here. Okay, uh, can you guys hear me now? Yeah, oh, I it works see. Now. Okay, that was just weird. I just had to switch in and out, I guess. We got Tom in the chat now. Hello, hello. hello. Okay, okay. So, Bmock, thirteen hundred bucks for a thirty seventy thirteen seven. That's a good price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about the going price, uh, going rate for a pre built. There you go, price. right there. Sounds good. Okay, yeah, sound is good. Okay, there we go. Hey, we got Tom in the house as well, guys. Three minutes. Let's finish it. And is anybody gonna, uh, thanks for, fa uh, we, oh, we got, we, uh, we're also looking for folks to get excited over on the, uh, over on the kick side. We're over a hundred followers on kick now, guys. The case is not that big, actually. The case is not that big. Two minutes, 55. Who's gonna get it going? Stretch. Okay, here we go, stretching. Stretch. Tom, I heard you're a little excited about today's deals. I am. I, I, I completely am. I'm excited about them every day, but got some good ones up there today. Do the Drew drop in 25 bits? Um, no, I would not trade an RX 6800 for an RTX 4070. A 6800 is, well, no, actually a 40. Was it, is it like a direct trade? Oh, 669. Is that the real price? That seems really high. Is that really what it is? There we go. We got Wogman resubscribing 23 there. Yeah, yeah. 
Two minutes left, guys. Wogman's trying to do his best. Dude, the Drew even dropping a little bit. Hey, what's up, Talking Tribe? Wow, okay. Uh, is it worth upgrading a 3080 to a 4070 Ti? That's a pretty close linear upgrade. I don't know if, I'd say if I would, if I do 3080, it'd either go to like a 7900 XTX or 7900, yeah, or a 4080. We can do it, guys. One minute and 41 seconds, and then we'll go. Riddick, dropping five gifted subs. We are now 25 away from the goal on, uh, over on uh, the good old, the good old fashioned kick, kicking things off. And we're 20 away. Dude, Cal Ralph. Bam! Tier three. He was just like, I'm just gonna drop it like it's hot. Thank you very much, Cal, Cal Rao. Is it gonna be an upgrade, uh, bottleneck upgrading uh, to a 4070 with a 10700K? Uh, Catalan at 1440p, I mean, I think you're, I mean, I don't know, it, it would be pretty close. I mean, what do you think the bottleneck would be there, BMOC? 10700K and a 4070? It should, it should be pretty good. You know, yeah, I mean, it should be fine. I, don't think, I think you're going to be okay. It's, it's, you're going to have some bottleneck, but nothing crazy. Thank you, Riddick, for drawing that. We're so close. 45 seconds. We can do it. Come on, we can do it. I want to give away a $25 new gift card. Who's going to be my, who's going to be my savior? Tell the, P, the PC people in the call I love them. Uh, just so you guys know, Thiamin loves you guys. 33 seconds. We're gonna finish this, 30 seconds. Who's gonna do it? Who's gonna be my hype guy? B-Mock dropping one, 20 seconds. Thank you, B-Mock, by the way. You're not just a, you're, you're, a, you're an officer and a scholar. Oh, Riddick dropping 10, okay, Riddick. Look, guys, everybody, Riddick saves the day all the time. So, okay, well, there we go, 13, and we got level five there. So we've got 25, we got that going. Uh, we are at 42, so eight away from $50 gift card already. And then, no, you're fine, Riddick. I just appreciate you. You know I love you. Um, you're always the man. I just want to see, I'm hoping some other people will come in too, but I'm not going to say, I'm, I thank you. It means a lot to me. Uh, it means that we can continue to give away. So, okay, let's talk about parts. BMOC, what's the CPU for this build? That's a good question. You know. Uh, 5800X3D. And this is a good CPU, right, Tom? Yes, it is. And, and what's the price of the 5800X3D right now? It's like 327. sub-327. Oh, okay, so I thought it was 300. Okay, so it's 320. I thought no. it was sub-300. Somebody said it was sub-300. But okay, so 327, that's still a good price. CalRAL dropping five more gifted subs. You are the man, sir. And here we go right here, guys. Uh, I love this motherboard. I know both Tom and I uh, talk about it a lot. The B550 Tomahawk. It's like if you had like value and features and they had a baby. And out comes the B550 Tomahawk. And it still uses MSI Center, which is great. Uh, MSI Center's got a whole lot better. You got Mystic Light support, um, which uh, yeah, there's a couple things I wish were a little bit better in terms of their support for RGB for RAM. But for the most part, I like this board. Uh, BMOC, have you ever used the B550 Tomahawk? I like how I still talk to him over there. I sure have. You have, okay. Tomahawk's a great board. I love their I love their Z, their uh, their Intel ones and their AMD ones, which are really good. So great board um, to to kick off with, and we're good to go there. Hey, do the Drew says, hey, I got that motherboard. That's it's a good board, guys. For storage, we're gonna use a two terabyte SN850X. Uh, there's a uh, there's a two terabyte uh, drive on sale right now though, right? For 119. Am I not wrong, Tom? Nope, the SN770 on sale for 119 two terabyte which, Gen 4. Which is like the just at Gen 4 speed, which is perfectly fine for gaming, OS, all that sort of stuff. And like I said, same thing as, the, as our motherboard. It's like if baby and value, had a, if, if, sorry, if value and endurance had a baby, it would be the uh, SN770 or the, um, or the 850X, which is if you want some a little bit faster. Hey, we're gonna use four dims of RAM today, guys, because we can, because this is a, uh, this is DDR4. So we got four by eight, 32 gigs, uh, 3200 mega transfer. Uh, this is AMD Ryzen, by the way, optimized for Ryzen. And this is the Vengeance RGB Pro SL uh, RAM. So uh, I did not have a 3600 gig, a 3600 megahertz kit, but again, this build, I think all in is like just under 1900 bucks, right, Tom? Correct. Until I change all the parts. I got like 16 parts I changed for you, Tom. <sighs> <laughs> I just sighed. <laughs> we can hear it. Uh, PC guy, thank you for the sub. 
Hey, uh, we're gonna be showing off something new, which I think people are pretty excited about. Um, so we're gonna be showing off those Uni fans, but these are the Uni uh, AL120 V2s. Uh, so these are the latest fans actually from the Lee and Lee family. Uh, these just came out just the other day, so I figured we'd uh, replace all the fans. Our, our, so we have some quality RGB in here. So there's our four Uni AL120 fans. Riddick says, I felt that sigh in my hit in my soul, uh, which is <laughs> I, which I appreciate. Uh, got, we almost hit level six hype train. PC guy dropping another sub as well. We're like almost there. Um, but anyway, some some new fans for you guys to check out. Uh, also, this is for Org. Org loves this AIO. I think a lot of people do. Um, and it's the AK620, uh, the dark, the zero dark um, from Deep Cool, uh, which should be more than enough cooling for our 5800X3D. Again, keeping costs a little bit lower, uh, making it a little bit simpler from a build standpoint. Uh, BMOC, have you used this cooler? Did I lose you guys? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. What, what cooler was that again? It's the AK620 the... Zero Dark. Yep. Yeah, I haven't used the Zero Dark, but I've used the AK620. Great it's cooler. just a it's just a great air cooler. And then uh, one of our favorite, one of my favorite PSUs. I know you guys always like it when I use C Sonic, but we're not C Sonic this time. We're gonna use the uh, EVGA uh, 750G6, which is a great PSU. And by the way, can we get an F in the chat? I want an F in the chat. Kick chat, uh, 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 Twitch chat, everybody. 13 seconds, by the way. Can we get that last level six? Guys, 10 seconds. We can finish it out. But can we get an F for Jacob leaving EVGA? He left EVGA, guys. That's crazy. So, well, we got 88%. That's still pretty good. Um, Jacob leaving uh, Jacob leaving EVGA. That's like the end of an era, guys, for sure, right? Am I right? So, yeah. Uh, Jacob, who, if for many of you guys know, uh, yeah, yesterday was his last day at EVGA. Um, he's been like a mainstay. And uh, we've even, you know, I've been, I, I did a bunch of overclocking streams with those guys. And so today was the end of his day, his last day. So Roby poached Jacob. I did not, I did not poach Jacob. I do not know where, know where Jacob went either, but yeah. How come NVIDIA only allows frame generation on 4000 series? So Jita, it's actually a hardware, uh, it's basically a hardware, it, it technically can work on 30 series, just not as well, um, but there's actually a upgraded hardware uh, part in there, silicon, that allows it to be so effective. They could, um, they could specifically um, do like a less uh, effective version on 3000 series, but as of when 4000 series launched, they have no plans and it would be like significantly worse. <clears throat> um, it says, um, what did somebody said? Jacob was there. Yeah, he was there for 17 years, but EVGA leaving the GP market is noticeable, but that was like months ago. Um, Jacob went to go start his own lawn mowing company. There we go. <laughs> That must have been what it was. It was it was totally that. <laughs> that's 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 what he did. So uh, yeah, let's see if you guys can guess. Maybe uh, guess over on Discord. I want uh, maybe we open up a community challenge. Okay, we're gonna open up a community challenge. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Jacob know this. Uh, but we'll 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 give away a $25 new gift card to whoever guesses what Jacob's job is correctly. So we'll open up the community challenge over on Discord. You guys put where you think Jacob went and what his job is. Um, I'll give $25 to the winner and $25 to the most creative. Um, so we'll go from there. I, Blondie says she has an idea though, so I might get overwritten because, hey, BMOC, who's the real boss here? It's not me, is it? Tom, you can you can jump in nope, on this too. It's Blondie. It's Blondie. Everybody knows Blondie is really the boss. Yep. yep. I, uh, I I I uh, yeah yeah. She's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, gaming? How are you? <sighs> okay, here we go. Right here, we got uh, we got uh, purple. Oops, I think I knocked something over. We got some purple cable co uh, cable combs and cable colors, and we also got our normal uh, connector our 16 pin connector as well. Um, so there is our build guys. What do you guys think? We're waiting for Blondie's answer. Underwater BB stacker. <laughs> Jake. Okay guys, make sure you put these answers in Discord. Head over to discord.gg slash Robitech. 
Blondie will get it squared away. We can start. We'll get it. We'll get it set up right now, uh, as quick as she can, and she'll let you know when it's open. Go start putting what you think his guesses are, and uh, we'll choose the winner um, in a couple. In uh, when he, when he announces what what his uh, new job is going to be. <clears throat> yes, he can be fired. He can be found on uh, Myred Media as well. Okay, hold on. Let's actually let me see if Jacob's available. One sec. Let, let, here, I'm going to text him. <clears throat> let me see if he's there. Jacob. Hey, you there? Let's see. We're going to text Jacob. Let's see if we can get him on there. <laughs> we're going to see if we can get him on the phone. <laughs> can I call you real quick? We're going to, I'm going to try to see if we're, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to literally get Jacob on the phone. It's going to happen. While watching three chats of Discord, you want me to create a challenge? Sure. On it. See, that's, that's why I like Blondie. I'm hoping, or, or, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, and we're gonna get this, we're gonna get, we're gonna get Jacob on the phone. It will take 60 seconds. Hey, Roby. Yeah. While you're doing that, um, when you were benching the 5800X3D, did you have to update the BIOS or did it come ready out of the box? Actually, in this B5, in this one, it, I booted it and it worked just fine. I was prepared Perfect. to do it, but it was, uh, it, the, it, this one it worked with uh, right out of the box. He says, I'm sure, okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, here we go, we're calling Jacob right now. Here we go. You guys are hearing it ring. You guys can't see his number, I guess we make sure. We're seeing what's happening. Hey Jacob, it's Roby. Hey. Hey, we're you're live on Roby Tech, and I just want to let you know we're having a community competition that is okay. two parts. One, if, if people can guess where you're actually gonna go for your real job, and two, what the most creative job that we think you should have. So okay. you're gonna have to check those out at discord.gg slash robytech. But I wanted to let you know that we love you so much that we have this whole competition just around you, and people can win gift cards from me because we want to see how funny people can be about what you're gonna go do. <laughs> Right now it's really? okay. yeah. Somebody said you're joining NASA. Somebody also said you're starting your own lawnmower company. Um, and but it, okay. we're gonna we're gonna yeah. see what comes out of it. But uh, how long till we get to know? Because we need to know how long to know the competition for. <laughs> uh, probably I think you should know maybe two weeks. Two weeks, guys. Okay, so we're gonna open it for two weeks, and then we're gonna find out if Jacob is actually joining SpaceX and going to Mars, or if he started his own. Uh, Underwater. Well, somebody said you're stacking BBs underwater, so maybe that's your. Uh, I don't know. That seems that seems pretty risky. But I just want to let you know that we uh, we have appreciated your time. Seventeen is it seventeen years at at EVGA or twelve? Seventeen. Seventeen years I'm at EVGA. You, you are not old, but it says, we wanted to say thank you for your seventeen years. Uh, we all had an F and a moment in chat, and we're excited to see what you do next, my man. Thank you. I appreciate it. And, uh, hello, chat. And, uh, Okay, well there we go. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Jacob go, but everybody say bye Jacob and every, and everybody says hi. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Talk to you later, man. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Okay guys, so there it is. Two weeks. Blondie's gonna set up the competition. Let me know what you think he's gonna go. We get a winner if you guess correctly and a winner uh, for most creative. And we'll let Jacob do the vote. So I'll work with Jacob to basically get the vote in there. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, Jacob is, uh, uh, he was, he was a fantastic, uh, basically representative of the, uh, of the, uh, EVGA community. So that should be a lot of fun. Okay. I, is there anything else? Have I forgotten anything, Tom or BMOC or, or should we start building? What do you think? Mm, I think, I think we can start building. I think, uh, I think we're good there. I don't think you forgot anything. BMOC? It's good to me. Okay. Everybody, we have, we officially have permission from the two overlords to go ahead and start building. As you can see, I'm starting to find, start to hit lower and lower on the totem pole here at Robitech in terms of my my role. Soon you will just be calling me Mr. Monkey and everybody else just tells the monkey what to do. So it should be pretty awesome. But you know, it is it is what it is. You know, I, not everybody can be as attractive as I am. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just accepting the orders. You know what I mean? That's all I do. But it's just having a face like this, you know, it's just what it is. So, okay, let's go and start putting this away and start building. It's hard looking this good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Org says they're just voices in Roby's head, but we get to hear them somehow. We're just part of the crazy. 
It says, in, at least at least you're the face of Roby Tech, but pretty soon it may end up being his Tom Tech's moment. The problem is, is Tom's too tall for TV. They don't make oh, cameras yeah. that go up high enough. You know what Come I mean? On. The problem is, is like, he, he, like, he gets like, at, like his head gets its own atmosphere. You know, it's like, he's just, he's so high up there. It's like raining up there all the time. <laughs> Okay, so uh, there is no popping, there is no popping uh, socket on this one. So I guess the, the one that we're gonna do now is clicks. Clicks for how loud the DDR4 is going to be. Tom, you get to choose this time. What is gonna be our click target? Our, our uh, How loud are the clicks gonna be? Because we need to get that set up for predictions. 97.6. Wow, number, 97.6 guys. There it is, 97.6. Get your votes in. Will it be 97.6? Uh, what is a free upgrade? I know, that's like really high. <laughs> Blondie. Blondie's like really mad. Sorry, She's like, Blondie. She's like making us do, making me do all this work, but she is the community manager and the boss. You know, the boss has got to do all the work. Okay, right, we got that now. We got our Ryzen. We got our drive. What do you think of the parts list, Vmock? What would if you could if you could improve something? What would you change? Anything? I mean, I'm okay with getting curated. I'm okay with. Uh, Having a fight, I might boot you, but it's, I mean, that's fine, right? Besides the Pretty GPU. Good. I mean, we could, we could upgrade to X570, I guess, if we wanted to do some extra Gen 4 NVMe. Okay, so he says maybe X570, but nothing, nothing sticks out to you as like glaring from a, uh, from a stand, from the standpoint. Nope. Oh, I guess we are pretty close to that 50. We're one sub away from the $50 new gift card. So Who's gonna be I, the good? I, go I got something that sticks out just a little bit. What's that? Uh, if you're a fan of RGB, you're gonna have to have two different. Oh, we got disconnected. I don't know what happened there. I don't like Tom. Tom was saying nothing was wrong with it and everything's fine. So okay, that's fine. Hear him now. Can you be my? <laughs> I muted him. He doesn't even know. <laughs> wow. Well, anyway, sorry, go ahead and say what you're going to say, Tom. <laughs> Whatever. Um, no, I said you're going to have to use two pieces of RGB software if you want to use RGB with MSI and Corsair with the Corsair RAM. Uh, so there is one thing you could do, and I am going to show you guys how to do that today, is I'm going to set the hardware lighting and uninstall IQ or stop it from running. You can do that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the, I, I did think about that when I was doing the build today. I was like, you know what? Uh, so yeah, good, good on you for for bringing that up. So yeah, I do I do appreciate that. That's a good that is that's actually a good response. I, and it's funny, it's I think the problem is is that I've now I'm, I've only I don't have a ton of DDR4 options, and I was hoping that MSI would have it, but it didn't. So I think I think you're right. I think one thing that I could do to improve this build um, in re all reality is switch to a different RAM, uh, like either G Skill. Um, or Kingston or one of those. And I had a Kingston DDR4 kit, but it was 16 gigs and it felt too small. So I felt like 32 gigs was kind of like the minimum. So yeah, that was a good call. That was a good call. Okay, going to top down here, going in there. Okay, so let's go and put our, 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 uh, our CPU in first. Zooming in here. Not gonna, no, no jump in there. In. The RAM is fine. It's just RGB. I mean, it, it is a good call. Craig dropping it in there. Okay, guys, we got to upgrade to the next tier on the giveaway as well. I appreciate the I appreciate the curation. That's a good thing. It's good to have people to uh, to 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 critique. One hundred fifty zero four fifteen. Okay, next goal is up, guys. On our way towards a hundred dollar. And remember guys, still wanna get another 25 subs over on Kick, cause we wanna get closer and closer to giving away those GPUs and C that GPU and CPU. RGB is very important to get, uh, to get uh, max frames, for sure.
Yeah, we're announcing it today to, in need of temperance. The winner is in chat, by the way. I have seen the person, and they have chatted, so they will actually get to hear it when they're here. We do know who the winner is. Wow, somebody's name is Voltron McLeod. That is a good name. I think another one could be Voltron McLovin. <laughs> we had McLovin here the other day. Yeah, we did. We had McLovin here the other day. Okay, we can actually do the clicks. We can do the clicks now because it's already done. So we got the predictions already in place. Sooner or later, I'll have to high speed again with electric company will be on the supplier or Elon. Build, build, build. Okay, everybody's saying build. Are, the you, are they the benevolent overlords? Hey, we're all benevolent overlords at this point in time. Oh, not yet. 17 seconds. Okay. Well, we'll do the, we'll do the NVMe then. And we're going to use the WoW Stick Mini. I never use it enough, so we'll do this right now. It feels like we've got... Fr is it framey? It feels a little framey. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reset the camera real quick. feels a little framely on the top one. Okay. WoW Stick Mini time. Here we go, guys. You guys always see the WoW Stick, but I don't use the WoW Stick Mini very much. That seems much better. There we go. Also magnetic, I keep forgetting about that. There we go. Yeah, you've never seen, it's, it's not one I use very often, huh, Kurosaki? I need to do it more often. You got the magnetic mat out too? I do, the magnetic mat, is, which came with the WoW Stick Mini. Which well, it is comes like, with a mat too? It comes with the metal, yeah, it comes with the magnetic mat. mat. Pretty solid. That is solid. Our motherboard is the uh, Tomahawk B550. Only thing that kind of bums me out about this motherboard is it does not have Wi-Fi. All the other Tomahawks do, uh, but this one did not come with Wi-Fi. It did come with USB-C though, which was rare uh, on B550 land. So remember we're 5800X 3D, so it's like a little bit like older in the stack. Now something actually Intel pushed really hard for with the Z690 and Z790 is that Wi-Fi 6 had to be uh, like by default. Um, and then in, uh, AMD fell, uh, followed suit. Yeah, with the B550 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, the, um, uh, that was like, actually, it's funny because you're talking about, somebody was talking about the Asus Clips. Yeah, that was something that didn't come out until um, uh, the, uh, it was, it was it Z690 that the first time that, that showed up? And that was one of the Asus innovations. So MSI didn't add that until uh, Z790 and X670. Um, so it was, it's, uh, it would be, this was like prior to the beginning of that. Um, so, okay, let's pause the music here. Okay, click time. 97.6 is what Tom said. We got four chances today, though. Four chances to, to hit that goal. Well, I'm glad it looks good so far. Okay, well, that makes me happy. We got the CPU in there. I'm going to drop the RAM like it's, uh, like, a, like it's French toast. There is a thermal padding. Yeah, I've already, it's already been peeled. Uh, this, this build has been benched. And it's already got an OS on it and everything, so that way when we get done with it, we can actually bench test it uh, and show uh, just how, how well it runs. And now that we have the new drivers as well, we might see if there's some improvements. So, okay, everybody's excited. Did Tom make it too high? Or some people are saying, did Tom, watch, watch it actually do well today. Okay, here we go, first one. MSI actually is really, usually has really good clicks. 94.1 on the first one. I don't know, guys. And that was actually, it went in really nicely. Ninety one point one on that one. That one felt louder. Ninety four point three. Last one. Ninety 
88.2. It did not do it. And I really worked on that. I really worked on that, error. Tom. User error. It was a user error? How did, did it, what, okay, what could I have done better? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just messing <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put your back into it, man. I do. I, apparently, I do. By the way, guys, another <laughs> request that you guys had, which is another, we've added a new vote, but we've got something new uh, for the end of the stream, which is called Guess How Much the Build Weighs. So we actually have the digital scale for weighing the builds at the very end. So that was something else, uh, Tom, that was your idea. We actually have yeah. the scale here. So I have to think of a way to let people vote on that. So is it like maybe over 50 or something like that? I don't know. If you have ideas, uh, let, uh, we'll have to talk. Think about, think about that now. I'm, I'm giving, you, giving you time to, to contemplate as we get near later in the end. A billion kilograms. It'll be pounds. I'm sorry you bet all your money, guys. I, didn't, I did try to, to win it for you today. But Tom, Tom went pretty high. That was a pretty high score. Oh, this is not zooming. Oh, there. Oh, it's already zoomed. That's why. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's get some thermal paste on here real quick. I may need to buy more spatulas. I feel like my spatulas are getting overused and stuff. I might have to buy some more. Ugh. Prime Rabbit says, "I bet all my money and one." There we go, that's a good win right there. There we go, okay. First uh, first dab, let's go to top down again. Okay, here we go. Time to get some get some cleaning going there. I think, I, I like the idea of people getting to bet on stuff though. Because, I mean, we don't, like, people like go bonkers for uh, channel point opportunities. I think we should do a uh, we should do a community point giveaway, right? Let's to make it go in there. I, I, I wonder what we do. We, we're gonna do. Uh, what if we give a CPU away? Because we can't. We don't have any build mats. They're all out of stock. What if we give away like a 5600x for two million community points? That feels like a good. What do you guys think of that? Give a place for people to put community points. I like, I like that. that. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, let's yeah. throw that in there, Blondie. Let's do, let's add the community thing since we don't have a build mat. Two million points, we'll give away a 5600X. And we'll do it, we'll do AMD for BMOC. And it's only 119.99 right now. There you go. Or two million free, two million points, which is free. Unless you have like bad people like Tom who wants to make, like not let people win points. They could have bet against it. They could have, that's true. Riddick's all like, or 2.5 million for a 5800X 3D. It's like trying to up it. Hey, right, let's get one more over here. So we'll get that started. We're keeping Bonnie very busy today. Dang it. I don't feel like Blondie works enough, maybe. That is and not true. Works plenty. I'm trying to think of what game I should play today. It's not my best spread job, but it'll it'll be fun. Minecraft. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Kevin throws Roblox. Please don't. <laughs> Why do motherboards come with another GPU slot? They're not necessarily for GPU. Um, they can be for lots of different things. Like for instance, that brand new Sabrent Rocket 14 slot, uh, you know, uh, what, what can you do? Uh, it'll support 21 16 terabyte NVMe drives for three grand. That might be a good thing to put in here. I need to write Sabrent to see if they'll send me one of those and all those drives. 
Did you guys hear about that? This new uh, expansion card that you can do two of in a PC and it'll support two, uh, 21 16 terabyte NVMe drives. I have not heard about that. I'm, uh, I'm surprised you haven't ordered it yet already, Tom. I mean, you want me to go ahead and order it for you? And I'll just keep it? <laughs> <laughs> Prime Rabbit, th those people do exist. Or, like, they do it to mostly browse the internet because they have no time to buy games. The org actually brought up a, a good point in chat. Uh, the second slot usually only runs it at AX. And what I've noticed from a lot of the boards I've, I've been looking at lately, even... Uh, B650 and X670 boards, a lot of them only run at X4, really. Yeah, which would actually be quite a bit, which would be quite a bit slower, especially on a drive like that. You'd need like a, you'd, you'd definitely need to use like a high-end board if you were gonna use like that expansion, the, the card I'm talking about. Win 32X, well, the, it's just, you don't need to do 32 because uh, the, the speed, the lane speed keeps getting faster. Uh, why do BMOC and Tom have an echo? Where are they? No, it's just, guys, it's Discord. Like, we can't, there's not a whole lot we can do to fix, uh, like, how their voice sounds. It's just because they're, they're talking through Discord. The only way to do that is to, like, have them come through some other way. And Discord, I mean, like, yeah. I don't, does it sound, does the echo sound that bad? I'm just curious. I mean, they sound, I can hear them chatting through my speakers, so it doesn't sound that line. Oh, so somebody's saying, oh, Discord audio, okay, so. I still like having them, though. Robio is a 56X for two, 2 million points, right? Yeah, 5600, 5600X for 2 million points. Cool, that's a good deal. Bill, okay, so build Matt, oh, it says build Matt giveaway. Oh, so she, oh, she's, I think she's doing something else. Oh, she's canceling, okay. She's getting ready to change it to the next iteration here. Sounds like bathroom mode. I think it's, I don't know if there's a way for us to fix it. Oh yeah, because they're coming through my, they're coming through my speakers and then they're also coming through Voice that could be it, which is not. Then I wouldn't be able to hear them. Could you? Well, you guys, can you guys hear the music? Does the music music sound like an echo? Because I can hear the music too. I might be able to turn them down. No, but the music. I I hear the music at the same volume. Which GPU works with the 5700X? Most of them. I turned it down a little bit to see if I could hear him. Uh, see if it makes it a little bit better. They are talking from heaven. What means it, what, what makes you think that they're not talking from heaven? BMOX, somebody asked, what's a good, uh, what's a good GPU recommendation for a 5700X? Uh, I'd probably top out at a um, 6950 XT or a maybe a 4070 Ti level. Well, there you um, go. Would probably be where you start hitting the bottleneck noticeably, but I mean anything up to that. I mean it's a pretty pretty solid pretty solid CPU still. Oops, you guys can't see that. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make this to stay sure it stays centered. Uh, where can we get a mat like that? So this mat uh, is sold out. Um, we will have another mat. We will have a new one coming out soon. Yeah, Wolf Shadow, I got it. I turned him down a little bit. Any, most, any GPU will work with a CPU, yes. The, diff, the only thing that you have to be aware of is some of them will actually start causing, uh, start causing bottlenecks, like where the CPU is actually uh, bottlenecked by the GPU, et cetera. I'm 
trying to find the AM4 here. Okay. We got a good question in chat, Ruby. What's that? Yeah, somebody wants your opinion of the upcoming Intel Battle Mage. The what? Intel's uh, next next C uh, GPU post arc. Um, you know what? Honestly, if things continue to do as well as they have been with their driver team and stuff like that, I think we've got something. Uh, I think we've got something compelling. I'll be honest, man. I'm not just. I'm. I'm. I'm with. Uh, I'm with. I'm with. Uh, with uh, Linus on this one, man. I think AMD needs to be competitive in the uh, GPU market as well. That's my two cents, because I think if you have three people, it really does put the press on them. And us, the other thing too is that Intel and AMD are the only companies that can start to do things where GPUs and CPUs get benefits by being in their own ecosystem, right? Which I think is a big advantage uh, that uh, companies need to take uh, uh, companies like that need to take advantage of. In my in my personal opinion, uh, Tom, you have a do you have a different thought? Oh, you're right on point with it. Sorry. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what about you, Bmock? What do you think? Um. Well, the big thing for Intel GPUs um, is they're supposed to be on a two-year. So we're not going to see anything for another probably two years for that. Yeah, but still, I mean, we still want that competition, right? Like, I mean, I'm, I know we're talking about two years, right? But I still think having that three-way competition would be a good thing uh, for co for consumers. And right now, I don't consider, nobody considers Intel Arc viable, which, I mean, is sad. I mean, outside of maybe an encoder card. Um, but the A750 is a good, like it's becoming a better option, but a lot of it is because of the lack of support on older GP, uh, older games has been problematic for some people, right? Because still people play older games. Um, so, but I, 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 that was more my question, Bmock, if you're down for uh, having, th being able to support Intel, uh, have both Intel and uh, AMD uh, making, uh, <sighs> making viable GPUs. I think that would be a good thing. Oh yeah, 100%. I, I think it would be great for consumers because um, it's going to give a third player in the market that's going to continue to create competition. But um, from all the rumors, it seems like Intel's committed to um, staying in the, the mid-level market at least for um, maybe two more generations. But I don't think they're going to continue to try to hit the high end. But I mean, the majority of people buying are going to be low to mid-range anyway. So. Yep. And that's, I actually got a quote directly from them on that. So that aligns with what I heard, that they're gonna be doing, they wanted to give it at least three tries. So they're committed to at least, which means two more generations after ARC. Okay, so here's always the fun thing, which is this goes this way, right? I gotta make sure. Yep, so this goes this way. So deep, cool. Okay, so now we throw this on here. And I think we're gonna have to do backwards again, guys. Make sure we get RAM clearance. And I wanna be able to see the RAM, but given how not hot the, um, how not hot this CPU kinda is, I'm okay with uh, actually doing uh, pull-pull instead of push-pull. It's still push-pull, but it's like push through the radiator push instead of push over the AI, uh, push over the, push over the, uh, RAM push, does that make sense? So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm actually gonna put the fan in the middle here and I'm gonna put the other fan on the outside instead of doing fan block rate RAM because the 5800X 3D should be totally fine from a cooling standpoint on that in that regard. And then it still looks good. I, I watched someone get a deep cool that was the wrong color. What 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 color was it? I didn't even know that could be a thing. PC Rehab. Yeah, they're great coolers. And the other thing too is even if I do it the other way, it's still gonna be, we'll test it. And if I need to change it, I will. 
right? But I really do think this is going to be okay. And then we'll hide gotta, our... We got to get you in there doing some uh, um, Peerless Assassins, Rosie. I know. I need to get some of those. I also need to get the... Um, I also need to get some of the uh, Arctic uh, AIOs as well, just to test them. How much is the Peerless Those are actually are cheap. pretty inexpensive, yeah? And they're on par with the, the AK-620? Actually, um, they're, they're the best air cooler you can buy, honestly. Um, the Noxua DH-15 um, beats it in a noise standpoint. It's quieter. Um, and it, and it can push a little bit better at the, when the fans are at high, all the way at the highest speed. But as far as like overall, um, and then for the value, they're only like uh, the SE model, which is just a different uh, look, is only like 40 bucks for tax on uh, Amazon. Wow. I've got three of them in my house right now. I've got a white one, a black one, and then a black ARGB model. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. So we should check those out for sure. But uh, I think it was hard work and did a uh, air cooler roundup um, just a few weeks ago. And they pretty much said it's best overall um, because of the value and the performance side of it. But it'll it'll tame. Like I, I'm using it on, on my 7800X 3D right now. Um, and it's, and I've used and it's it no on problem, my 7700X. Huh? And no problem, huh? No, not at all. Not at all. Um, I think the, the hottest it got was, was ADC maxed out. Um, Cinnabon. So I wonder what companies are going to do about that. Like when somebody like the, what, like, I wonder why it's so inexpensive, right? Because there has to be, you know, like when you think about the cost and everything like that, I wonder why it's so much cheaper than uh, other, like other air coolers. Specifically, like I said, the, the, the SE model, you can see the little heat pipe tops on the top. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't look as good as that deep cool that you're using for sure. Uh, oh, okay. but the, the non SC model is only, I want to say about four or $5 more. And it's, it looks really nice on top. Maiden actually used it, um, in his latest build as well. So and he was, he was happy with it, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, uh, I think he's using one on a 5,800 X3D right now. Um, and he used, used one on the 7,700 X that he had as well. Somebody, uh, what was hype's question? I wonder if somebody's asking, why are you doing the, uh, why are you doing it this way? Did I, I did put this the right way, right? The deep cool is the right direction. Yes, it is. Okay. And I put that, and yes, I know I intentionally put the fans in different ways. I did, I'm not putting the fans over the cooler. Um, I know it, it does cause some reduction in the, in the cooling capacity for sure. But at the same time, I don't need this, this, it should still keep the 5800X3D plenty cool. So, and by the way, our first zip tie, guys. So, get your votes in. Zip tie man, zip tie man. Guess the count of them if you can. Even's ours, who can know? Make your wages. We had a, a new person in, in chat was concerned about, they were wondering why the rules say don't ask for codes. So, like, sometimes um, Roby may do special builds with uh, different companies, and they do giveaway codes um, for Gleam giveaways. Oh, okay. So he's saying codes. He's saying, oh, don't ask for, oh, yeah. This is, like, just don't ask for free PCs, don't ask for codes, that kind of thing? Right, right, right. Oh. <clears throat> well, thank you for answering that, yeah. And luckily, this is one of the things that you guys have noticed is new is we actually have some additional people who are on voice and their job is so when I get distracted, like I'm cable managing, like I was just doing or whatever it was, like they can see your questions and you don't feel like you're being ignored because I'm, I'm in the throes of, of, of building or whatever it is, right? So, and welcome to the show, dude. Um, guys, uh, the good thing about when we do air cool builds is that this build our, you know, essentially, our AIO is already done. What do you guys think of how it, how it looks so far? I mean, I, I, I like the way this is going to look really nice, very blocky. It should come out very even. I'm a little concerned that the blockiness of this particular cooler with the organic nature of the 
Zotac card, but we'll have to see. I do like that this, this the uh, color of the board matches a lot of the Zotac kind of highlights. So let's try to think about that. But from a performance standpoint, we should be good. Okay, people are guessing odd or even right now. That is going in as well. Kick continues to grow, 30 viewers in there. How did you find the LTT screwdriver? Miltor, it was okay. Honestly, I like the I like my wow stick and I like my iFixit better, um, in my opinion. So <laughs> I'm gonna, it's like, yeah. Uh, but uh, I didn't have an issue with it. I got to use it uh, when I was doing Mod Workshop. Um, uh, somebody had brought it, but frankly, I just, I like these better. <laughs> my opinion. Okay, guys, time to strip the case now. <clears throat> it's gonna be the opposite. Somebody's already like betting against him. By the way, this comes with like a, I don't think, I think that's because this is a influencer version of this. It comes with a, a, uh, um, a game, like a game controller holder. So, which is unique. I don't think every, I don't know if a TD500 comes with this, but if it did, then that makes the value of this even better. There we go. So this is a game controller holder in here. It's strip alert, that's right guys, stripping now. There we go. Okay, oh yeah, let's get this un, un, un disconnected here. I'll show you this thing here. I don't know if this comes with the case, and by the way, the case was more expensive than they told me it was going to be. It was only supposed to be $99.99 at the time, which I thought was a great price for a case of this caliber, uh, but it's actually $109.99. Okay. I think it's so, like the first one that'll go on sale here and there too. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, I, I really like it. It was a great airflow case. Our whole review is live on it. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, it's over on Roby Tech. And then this is the thing it comes with. And I don't know if this is if this is in every one or just in the ones that we get shipped, but is this Cooler Master gem. And it is like a, a holder that you can put on, be a magnet on like your glass and stuff like that. And it'll hold a controller um, at the same time. So pretty cool. We'll show that when we, uh, we get it all put together. Do the Drew, thank you for the gifted sub. Trying to win this PC. Don't forget guys, this PC will be given away. I don't know if it'll be with the Zotac card, but it will be with the 4070. Okay, we got some more zip ties. Always makes me happy. Yeah, this one will be given away. Uh, it, this is the sub only giveaway for Discord and uh, for Discord and um, Twitch. So if you're a subscriber on Discord and Twitch, then you're entered to win. And then if you want to get extra entries, you can gift subs. You can upgrade your sub, or, or you can subscribe on both Discord and uh, Twitch, and then be double entered to win this. Hey, Hydrate, thank you very much for that, my man. Trying to get more water. Zystan's not here today, but I'm always trying to keep a, keep on, keep as, as hydrated as Zystan. So, Ruby, do you have a breakdown of um, what the differences are on this one and the first version? So it's bigger. Uh, it's bigger. Um, it has, um, it's, uh, I mean, that's the biggest thing is it, it supports a 360 on the top versus only a 240, uh, 360 at the front. Uh, which was typical from there. Um, it has larger, larger length for full for full size GPUs. Um, and then I think the other thing that, that it, uh, this right here, the fact that you have a removable window for your PSU. Um, and then it also has a PWM, but it's it's not PWM. It's like a three. It's got an RGB hub, but it's also got a fan hub. But the fan hub is not four pin. It's just three pin. So, which is different than the other one. The other one just came with um, the other. Uh, case the other TD500 only came with um, a uh, RGB splitter, but not a fan hub. There we go. Okay, guys. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove these fans because we're going to use. Oh, and it looks like they. Oh, they did use clips, and they used. They still use the plastic clips for this, which is actually hard. I do not like these clips. 
forgot how to get, oh, okay, they just pull out. Well, they made that easier too, because these clips used to be really hard to get out to replace this bottom fan. So they made that easier too. So there you go, there's something else to be mine. Uh, somebody asked, uh, somebody asked you a question, b -Mock. So we got, uh, Radax, uh, probably butchering the name, but he asked, um, would the Decool AK620 keep the 7700X cool enough for gaming and general use? And, uh, my answer would be 100%. Um, even, even, uh, stock, you would be fine, but once you hit that, um, put your little PBO and curve optimizer on there too gonna be even better but but yep um the ak620 would be perfect um for a 7700x for people who don't know what pbo is what is that uh that would be the precision boost overdrive for uh, amd cpus that they introduced with um i believe the ryzen 5000 um so what it does is it pretty much allows you to get an extra kind of a board level overclocking for an extra up to 200 megahertz uh, boost out of your CPU than what the actual advertised clock speeds are. And you would set that um, in the BIOS. And then the curve optimizer is like a, pretty much like an undervolting. So what it does is there's a um, voltage and clock speed co um, deal where they coincide. So um, what you do is you're pretty much lowering the voltage. And what it does is pretty much allows you to raise the clock speed because you're you're getting that higher clock speed at a lower voltage. And there you go. And both and are both of them in the BIOS or just PBO? Mm -hmm. they, would, they would all be in the BIOS under AMD overclocking. Did you learn something new? If you win, if I if you win, you get to L dance on top of me. We have a lot of people. It's funny because like there's not a, like that's probably one area of knowledge that I've been working on. Like I have a lot of knowledge on the Intel side because I use Intel way more frequently. Um, but uh, I really appreciate something about our techs in general is the amount of knowledge that they have on the um, AMD side. So which is good. OK, so we're just going to take out these fans because we're not going to use them. We actually don't even need to use the hub if we didn't want to. Um, and we're gonna be using for the A for the ALs, we're actually gonna use not the wart. We're gonna use just motherboard control for this. Oh wow, they actually, oh, it looked like they ran that underneath there for a second. So just to simplify, but the case does have RGB. I think it does have RGB. I feel like there is RGB for the, nope, no, there isn't, isn't. So we're just gonna get rid of these. Okay, so our Corsair fans, I mean, sorry, Cooler Master fans are out. And now we're gonna put in our AL fans. Oh, those fell on the ground. And that makes me nervous. Where did my pins go? Okay, I, got, I still got my four pins. Unfortunately, they're not magnetic, so I can't put those in there as well. Um, reset switch. I'm actually gonna go ahead, because I don't need this. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out because I don't need it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the hub. And then we'll reinstall it when we put this, when we take this, oh, well, I guess when we give this away, it won't matter. And then we can disconnect reset. That just saves us some work. Okay. We had somebody in chat, Roby, that was talking about, uh, they heard that the Ryzen 7000 series run hot. Uh, so they don't, they don't, that's kind of, well, it's true, but it's not true. Um, and so the reason that uh, you hear that is because they've actually changed the way they, well, let's actually not say change the way, they, they've become more intelligent with how Ryzen 7000 actually works. So 
Uh, as the cooling capacity for your PC grows, and this isn't actually on all of them, but on a lot of them, as your cooling capacity for your PC grows, so does the Ryzen's ability to actually uh, take it effectively. In fact, in all of the, you know, when we first got the 7000 series, uh, AMD warned us that they were gonna run warm, and some of them, like the 7950, can actually run at uh, TJ Maxx the entire time, which means they run at 95.X uh, the entire go. And it's it's totally fine. In fact, uh, if, you, if you have second guesses, you can watch Jay's video on the, um, 4090 laptop from Origin that was basically running at 100 the entire time. And, and it's okay for CPUs to actually do that. But the difference is, is that if you look at the Cinebench score, or for instance, just the clock speeds or the boost speeds or the boost durations, they were higher and more frequent and longer because the chip is actually dynamically changing based on your cooling performance. Think of it as like almost auto overclocking, like what you see from like tools from like Asus uh, and EVGA, but this is like on the chip level. And so they're not, they basically try to run warmer because they're optimizing for performance. So it's actually fine. The one thing that makes it a little bit harder and why you see us when we do uh, a lot of AIO reviews is we'll use uh, 13th gen Intel versus Ryzen 7000 series is because of this fact, it's easier for us to show deltas in their cooling performance because it becomes more complicated the other way. So it's just a paradigm change. And in fact, Intel's also started to do the same thing with the 13900K. That's why you might see, for instance, we'll see a Falcon Northwest system actually get a Cinebench score of 40K. And then you'll see like an origin system get a Cinebench score of 36K, but the actual TJ Maxx or the temperature max temperature is actually the same. Again, that's because the Intel is boosting more often and boosting at a higher frequency and for longer because the chip is doing a lot of that stuff automatically. So uh, it's I think it's a good thing. I think what you're just gonna see is some paradigm shifts uh, in how we look at cooling all up. So hopefully that answers your question. Did you, do you think it answered the question, BMOC? Yeah, you did a great job. Uh, and, and one thing to note too is um, a big part of the reason why AMD's chips run hotter too is their IHS is a little bit thicker because oh, they wanted yes. to try to maintain AM4 and AM5 cooler compatibility. We actually on uh, we we actually saw somebody uh, in. The, there's a couple ways that people can fix that. Companies like Zydex are actually uh, they're doing stuff like um, they're actually uh, uh, delitting. And the other thing too is that there's other people who are uh, essentially um, mowing down. Oh, what's the word? Like shaving down? What's the word for it? Like uh, they're 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 milling the IHS down on the uh, on 7000 series to get them thinner. And that also improves uh, cooling by quite a bit. Is that the yeah, right actually, word? Yeah, uh, most of them they use like, yeah, it, that'd be it, I guess. Milling or sanding it down. Lapping, that's what it is. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Thank you very much. I just couldn't think about it. They've, I've also seen um, uh, some overclocking stuff they've got. Um, uh, direct die bracket that you can actually put on and what it does is it it covers up the uh, important stuff around the edge of the chip and keeps you from like pretty much like crushing the silicone um, but it exposes if you delit it the, the actual ccds there and io stuff and you can do a direct die cooling oh wow okay it's also, I mean, the other one that's actually super interesting is like the new Sub-Zero stuff that's coming from Intel as well, right? Um, which we have the Cooler Master version of that um, that we're testing right now. Um, so there's a lot of actually just really cool things that are kind of coming out from a cooling tech perspective. Okay, let's get our, let's get our new AL fans on here. We gotta make this build look pretty. <clears throat> yes, joining the Discord server is absolutely free. And we had some help in the chat, laughing. There. Yeah. I think it's the word we were looking for. I could not think of it. Tom, how we doing? What are you up to right now? Is he still there? Oh, yeah, he's still there. He's probably putting his kids down. He told, he told me he'd be right back uh, five minutes ago, yeah. So he might be putting the kids up there. Yeah, it's like we have people who are cross-country. We're, 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 a, we're, a, we're, a, we're a intercontinental group of individuals. Tom, check your battery. He's charging, he's charging his robot. The, he's charging as a robot right now. Okay, we're opening up our ALs. We're gonna be using the direct 
Cool, so yeah, this does actually have, we're still gonna use direct to Mobo on this instead of doing, instead of doing um, the wart, um, which I actually really like that and we tested that on uh, the um, build we just did. So that'll actually be pretty cool. And then somebody in chat had, had mentioned earlier um, about the 7800X3D and it does actually run a little bit cooler than the other Ryzen 7000 CPU. So you get the benefit of not only is it great for gaming, but it does actually run, run a little cooler as well. Can you use that? Does it have the same tools that you were talking about earlier for 5800X3, for the 7800X3D? Overclock, because I mean, again, it's supposed to be locked for overclocking and uh, you know, so the PBO and does that still work on the 7800X3D? Uh, it it does have PBO options. Uh, I, I haven't noticed it really raised the score uh, or the frequency, but the curve optimizer across the community from what I've seen is uh, really, really good on it. Like I've got mine at negative 32, which is really good um, for most chips. Like the 7700X I had, negative 25 was good. Um, I've seen a lot of people can get it down to a negative 35. So what that does is it just allows it to run a little bit cooler even. Um, when I'm gaming, I'm at the full um, 5,050 megahertz. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, I just voted, somebody said. Somebody wants to get in on those wins. Not get where are, are we? Where are, I, I I need to see what um, I think we're in just chatting. I wonder if we chat. I'm gonna change something. I'm gonna see if we can. I'm gonna try and see if this actually helps. I'm gonna change it to science and technology. See if we. There we go. <clears throat> just trying to. I'm testing out some stuff on Kick because we're Kick is new. Uh, Hogwai, that's for uh, that's for uh, Twitch, which is where we do want to do. I'm just trying to find the most effective place for us on Kick, which I mean we are science and tech, so we we'll have to see. But sometimes with new platforms, there's not a lot of viewership into unknown, unknown, um, unknown sectors like that. It was like it was a mixer issue for sure, because there would like there'd be like nobody in there. Okay, we're just getting our new fans out here. <clears throat> what would be what would be one hype Zulu? Give me an idea. What would be an example? 107 guys. There's 354 people here. We got to get those likes up over on YouTube. Head over to youtubecom Live. Hit that thumbs up, guys. We got to unlock that other $25 new gift card. One more fan. Try to make sure we have all our stuff too. There we go. Thank you, Ghost Poner. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. I don't think that'd be very good to the kick people. <laughs> Uh, getting this opened up. Last little bit, guys. It's always fun to open new fans, and Lee and Lee just has a lot of packaging around them to keep them at quality. I mean, there's obviously these are very pretty, high premium fans, so there's just that little bit of extra, extra packaging to make it look nice. No, hip. It was. It wasn't deleted. It was just blocked, and I got to see it. So I saw what you said. It got, it got caught by the moderator. Okay, there we go. Fans are done. Unlike the Infinity fans, the Infinity fans take way more time to open and unbox and do all of the, uh, do all of the uh, lighting and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get this set up now. 
Okay. So these are the V2s. I'm excited to see how these look. I always like the way Lee and Lee fans look when they're done. I don't know if you use these a lot, do you, B-Mock? I have actually, um, you talking about the Lee and Lee fans? Yeah. Yeah, I have actually not used those. Those are probably the only fans that I have yet to use at this point. They are good fans for sure. Oh, they're, they're really good. I just, I'm just a uh, price to performance person, and yeah. These you can do buy not really good that. fans. I mean, those those look amazing. Like, if, if I had to say, what are the best looking fans on the market? It's, it's those hands down. But I, I don't need the looks that much. <laughs> Be box like, I'm not compensating fans. for anything, my friends. <laughs> okay, let's use this. I don't know if you've seen, like, I was talking about that Thermal Right Fearless Assassin earlier. They Thermal Right has their fans three pack. They've been on Amazon for um, around fifteen dollars for three ARGB fans, and they've got um, pretty good stats on them too. The ones, the fans that I'm most impressed with, honestly, like I didn't know until I used them, was the T30s, which are, I mean, it's a set of three of them is ninety bucks, which is a lot, um, but. Uh, but the, uh, the, like the fact that they can do 100 CFM, you know what I mean? 10, 106 on their advance at 3000 RPM is crazy. And their ability to cool is like it's some of the best I've ever seen. Oh yeah. Uh, so pretty much the opinion from everybody in the advanced or uh, elite overclocking is using either the deep cool AIOs or those new EK nucleuses and putting T30s on it. And that's the best cooling you can get. Except for they, they just now, the Fantex just came out, which uh, we just tried that one. And that actually beat the the, nu the beat the nucleus in cooling. In cooling. It's better uh, in hol holistically. So, because the, the, the Fantex AIO just came out, the new, uh, with the 8th gen Asetek pump. So it had the best temps of all of them. Just FYI, if you guys are looking for a new AIO, um, that is currently the one that we've seen the best temps on. And that review that will comes be out with tomorrow. The 30s already. Yeah, and it comes with T30s. It's the T30 V2. That review will be out tomorrow. Okay, those fans look good though. It's like a big up. I mean, it's just I, even a visual upgrade from the. Um, even a visual upgrade from the uh, the ones we had from Cooler Master. Okay, let me grab my own. There we go. Just putting our color, just putting our fans in, guys. You just want to make sure everything is in and good. And then we got brackets for the bottom ones. Whoa, oh, that was a knife. That almost stabbed me. <laughs> I almost got stabbed, guys. I kid you not, that was open and just went right through my foot. I mean, right by my foot. That could have been bad. But I survived. It didn't go through your foot. It did not go through my foot. Luckily, it did not go through my foot. But that would have been that would have been bad. <laughs> unless you're a spectral being. Yeah, unless I'm a spectral being, which I am not. So that was like that was like genuinely terrifying. Okay, I'm gonna not use those and just go to the four. Yeah, start seal to Yeah, that would have been. I don't have. Well, yeah, I don't know. I only have knives in my room uh, for uh, just the build. That's not. It's not something I typically have uh, laying around. But it just. It was funny that. I think the second time I've actually almost hurt myself with that thing. Okay, we're good. Okay, cool. There we go, guys. Okay, build is done. The the. 
Those are in. Looking good so far, yeah. Now we just gotta put our rear fan in and then we'll be uh, good to go. Shoot. And you guys will get all, if you win this PC, you'll get all the extra parts. That's what we, something we always do. So if you wanna upgrade or whatever, like you could do that with the PC if you were to win it. Which I think is a, a nice benefit. Crud, I just, that was not very smart, Robes. There we go. Okay, let's put the knife away. What do you guys think? Why 5800X3D? It's a great pairing with a 4070. Uh, it's like at what just north of 300 bucks. That's a great price, and it's uh, one of the still one of the best gaming GPUs. I mean CPUs. So uh, it keeps the it's a great performance for the price for gaming. Hey El Kukashi, thank you very much for the sub. There we go. Okay, let us get this going. Okay, last, we're doing our last fan here. Being a sub is a dub, huh? Uh, so for the for just you being here, for the giveaways that are unlocked already, which is a $25 new gift card, uh, all you have to do is just be here and chat. For the PC, um, you gotta be a subscriber on Twitch or on Discord and that stacks. Uh, if you want to win the stuff over on Kick, um, which is the other bar that you're seeing there, uh, you also have to you have to be a subscriber there. And there's sub only giveaways for both Kick and Twitch and Discord. So lots of giveaways going on right now. There we go. I hope this was not a mistake putting this in first, but we will see. I might be removing this. It's usually not something I'm supposed to do is put the rear fan in before I put the MOBO in, but I've decided I've committed to it. So we'll see. We'll see if this is gonna be a mistake, guys. What do you think, BMOC? Am I gonna be removing this? Okay. Here we go, MOBO time, guys. There's actually not a lot of cable management that I have to do for this build. It's super low. This is gonna go pretty quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Just because the, the, the um, I basically took the six cables for the, uh, sorry, yeah, what would have been three, six, six, seven, eight cables for the fans and put them down to two, or four, sorry. And then the rest of it is actually like just like super small. So this is actually gonna go pretty quick. From a cable management standpoint, won't be as distracted. There we go. Okay, zip tie count is now up to officially three. So we're at odd right now. Vote's still going though. Oh no, the, oh, the vote's still working. I think the vote's over, right? Okay, they we're ready to put MOBO in. Let's drop this like it's hot, guys. Let's drop it like it's hot and get this, uh, get this in. Top down. We'll see, I think we're gonna have, I think you're right, BMOC, I think we're gonna have room. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be way less zip ties because we don't have an AIO. When I used the first version, I actually was able to fit a 360 rad up top, at, amazingly enough, even though it said it didn't officially support it. Do you remember which AIO you used? Arctic Freezer 360. Oh, okay. Which again, those are, are Arctic Freezers pretty inexpensive too? Oh yeah, that was fit, no problem. Uh, they were um, pretty well priced there for a while. Um, 
The only problem I had was when I had the original RAM in there, it worked fine, but then I upgraded. Um, the guy wanted some wingy RGB um, Team Extreme RAM, and it was too tall. So then we had oh. to we had to move it to the front. Ah, so it was it was the clerk it was the it was the it was the the uh, jerk client who ruined it for everybody. Stupid jerk client. Okay, here we go, guys. Getting this in. This uses some of the biggest screws for motherboard. Like these big, they look like PSU screws. It's like the same screws throughout the entire case, which again saves money, which makes keep it cheap, keeps it cheap. There we go. It'll be interesting to see what temps are like. I'm curious what temps are going to be like. I think they'll be fine. I'm making a guess. Our cooling is already in, completely controlled. No RGB, so it makes it really easy. Get ready to go around to the other side. There we go. Boom. Nice. One more. I think I'm gonna use my. I was gonna. I think I'm gonna use Excalibur for this one, guys. You want to see the world's? I love this. I love this screwdriver. Jabram. So big. But it makes it really easy to get down into places like this. So you don't have to worry as much about. Do you have an Excalibur, Bmock? I do not. I thought you were. I thought you were a Robitech fan. I mean, I do have a wow stick. Oh, good. Okay. Well, that's all you really need. Let's just be honest. <laughs> okay. You know what's funny is uh, I, I do have an iFixit kit as well, but the screwdriver I use the most is actually a screwdriver that came for free and some piece of furniture that I ordered, and it's got a magnetic tip and everything, and it just yeah, came with it. It's this like like this one right here. Like I use this one more than I use any of the other ones because it's magnetic tipped. I use the iFixits for like I used to. I used yeah. It's I wish they made like an iFixit that was like this size, like that had like a long. You know what I mean? I think that would actually be good. Well, Hipzula, then if you just watch, eventually you kind of pick up by osmosis. I don't like I don't I don't like the ratchet Linus screwdriver. It was not my favorite. So it was uh, I like the wow stick and I like the I like um, just a standard one um, and I like the iFixits, yeah. Okay, guys, there is the build. Now we just gotta put we're gonna put in our front panel connectors. Unfortunately, this is my least favorite where the USB 3.2 is, but um, we'll try and make it look pretty. So that's what we're going to work on now. Let's go to side view. I fix it. Yeah, El Cushy. Yeah, El Cu. Yeah, that, that is, uh, I like, I love those, uh, those I fix it commercials from him. Okay, so we have two, a total of three, R uh, two RGB. We have the RGB for the front and then the RGB, we have a, uh, the front fans. So we got for, we have an RGB header at the top and we have one, see how many RGB, we have one at the bottom. Okay, so we have two RGB spots. Okay, let's see if these, will, will this reach? I think this will reach, this one will reach. I can do my one fan set here. Oh, let's go to side, sorry guys. So that's that. I'm gonna run RGB down and over. It's kind of way over there. I might try this. That might look better versus running down the other way because it'll be hidden by the GPU, I think, maybe. The GPU, the 4070 Zotac is still pretty long. There we go. Okay, there's our RGB, USB 3. 
I like it better when boards put it on the side now versus at the bottom like this. I don't know if you have a preference, BMOC. USB 3.2, or sorry, Yeah, I, I prefer it down there, just because, uh, I, I mean, I wish they would put the, the USB-C down there too, just because that way you would have less things coming out there, you know, visibly on the right. The problem is, is that it's, uh, if you, so depending on certain cases, this, can be problematic. If you get like the the adapters that we use and it's not as big, but it just sticks way out. I guess it is underneath your GPU, uh, but it does block the, the length of your bottom slot too, potentially. Um, but hey, there we go. That's why I ask opinions. This is yeah, gonna go- Yeah, it looks out pretty hard. But I, I do prefer it down there myself, just because you can't can't really see it down there. There we go. This is your RGB for your rear fan. If everything goes well, guys, we boot this up and actually get into Windows, it should all be the right color already. Let me run this right here. Yeah, let's run it up here. Have that match. Why not? Okay, this is our rare, this is our exhaust fan. There we go. Okay, and then all we have is our front panel connectors, which they gave us a second reset switch because it's supposed to be for RGB control. We don't have to use that, so. And this one I'll do top down because it'll just be easier. And then we'll cable manage. Yeah, this definitely has more stuff coming up because of it, but I think sometimes they can do a good job of framing it with the, okay, let's go to top down, framing it with the colored fans. Hard drive LED, right there. Power switch is next, and then power plus and minus. To take care of our front panel connectors, and then I'll show you guys where everything's plugged in. There we go. Power plus and minus is next. There's minus. Last is plus. Just the camera okay, do this, that's not helping. Oh man. Having a hard time, guys. Harder than usual here with plugging this in, but. There we go. Okay, plugged in. RGB replugged in. And now, pull this down. And then we'll cable manage. Okay, cool. A little bit more cabling than I'm used to on the motherboard there, because I have this one coming through here. But now that I can see this one coming through, I might actually have this just come the other way. I think that's gonna look better. So I'm gonna switch that real quick. And then we can do our cable management here. I mean, I have the length though. We'll have to see here. Barely enough length. Uh, it's not going to be the prettiest in the cable management department on the back, but small price to pay here. Yeah, I think that looks better. 
Okay, that's all of our top, that's all our front panel connectors. Okay, so to go through here, back here, this is the top. This is top is the RGB for the rear fan plus the exhaust fan. This is our three fans at the front. If I wanted to, I could actually move, I might see if I can move these down. I, this is not a very long cable, so I don't know if I have the length for it. This is USB-C uh, or USB 3.2. I don't think it's a Gen 2, but it's USB 3.2. Uh, this is our RGB for our front fans. Uh, this is our front panel headers. Uh, we have our USB 3, um, and then we have our uh, HD audio. We don't have any USB, uh, just typical USB devices, um, but we'll, I'm gonna see if we can maybe move this over. Um, it would be nice if they had an exhaust fan location at the top, just to minimize this just to two cables here, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can actually do. It'll still look fine because the purple coming up, I could have the purple come up and over, and then that'll hide a lot of this. Unfortunately, one thing I don't like about this case, and it's the same thing with the other TD500, is that it, I like it better if this was one giant thing, so you could have a straight 90. I don't like it when the 24 pin isn't at a 90 degree, um, and, but there's nothing I can do about it when it's not lined up like that. So we'll see here. So let's see what we have lengthwise. Nope, that's gonna be it. So that's the length, that's all the length we got here. So this is gonna go up here. Okay, let's, let's uh, do our cable management, which is not actually, this is it, right? There's not a ton. So we're gonna start getting cables managed here. The key here is you want these, as you do them, to be at 90 degrees. And that just keeps them a little bit cleaner looking. There we go. Zip tie time to start up and up the zip ties here, guys. Here we go. Too many hard drives, not enough M.2 drives. Yeah, that's a that's a that's definitely a thing for sure. Right angle 24 pin doesn't really still it still doesn't help with that because of it's you're still having to to uh, have it go up. Okay, so again, with this one, we're gonna have it go straight across. Yeah, I'd actually argue that the, a right angle 24 pin would be worse when it doesn't line up. Yeah. I would agree. I do have them. I have some right angle ones. It's funny, Cooler Master actually sent them to me. But yeah, I, I like the ones a lot better. I like it just better when the, when the, um, the cutouts just are right at the right angle. Prime Rabbit says, I got a free two terabyte hard drive. That's awesome, congratulations. How'd you get it? So by doing this, you actually create a little bit less length that can go through there and you end up with like a kind of a nicer look here. So we're gonna bring these up. Makes it a little easier to bring the PSU in too. There we go. Forty likes on YouTube, guys. Thank you very much. It's awesome. We're getting there. Yeah, it really depends on where you're growing. Like with your grommets, like the grommets just on this aren't lined up all the right way. Okay, let's get this last one. It's funny, when I got done with the Zydax build BMOC, 
he actually, he, they actually wanted like, they were like, they're excited to see it because they want to see, he thinks my cable management was cleaner than the ones that they typically do. They do it faster than I do. So he's like, well, it may just be a, a question of speed, but they still want to see, they were like, well, you might be able to find us a way to improve because they like where I put the uh, wart and stuff versus where they put it. I was like, cool, if it helps, great. Yeah, that's the thing is like each case and layout, you know, it's gonna have different cable management, but I mean, obviously they're building multiple PCs all the time, so they're getting used to it. Yeah, for sure. And they like, that's the thing is like, we have to do like, for things like what I do, and I think in some regards, even what you have to do, we're not building in the same case all the time. So it's like every time it's just something new, like we're discovering the best way to do cable management. Like there's techniques for sure, but it's still like every time it's, for the most part, it's pretty different. Right, you got different anchor points where the little zip ties can go in and routing angles and whatnot. Routing angles. Okay, I want this to go to max. And then I can do this and then pull this one this way. So far, 66,000 raised towards that 5600X community giveaway. People giving some good, giving some good stuff to that already. So I appreciate that, guys. I'm glad you guys are excited about it. Are different links, which is not helping. Okay. This just takes some patience, guys. Just a little bit of patience to get it to be at its smoothest. We'll do one more twist here. You can fold this under so it looks more even. Not always going to be perfect just when they have different links, but I want to make sure it's not over. There we go. You do not want it to be over showing through the back of the case at all. And then, then we're good. There we go. And then I'll keep it down. I'll bring it down a little bit. Thank you for letting me know. There we go. Okay, cool. So there we go, nice and clean. There's not a lot to manage here. There we go, and boom. Okay, so much, much, much cleaner looking than what it looked like before. Okay, let's get, let's get our 24 pins in. I'm just gonna check the front just to make sure things look nice. So again, we got nice even spots here, here. That looks nice too. Everything looks nice and clean. It's even. Okay. Let's go ahead and put in our cable combs. Adding some pop of color now. Giving a little Cooler Master love. Hydrate request done, thank you. We're not done yet. 
We don't, you don't count it until the very end of the stream for the, uh, for the count. Okay, getting some Asia horse cable combs on this. I drink up, thank you, do the Drew. I appreciate you take, trying to take care of me. Okay, one more. Keeping it going, guys. Uh, kick, we got, we guys, we still got 25 subs, though. We haven't had a lot of people here like we had the last couple times. We had like 50 or so. So I, I do notice that uh, Thursdays are usually pretty busy nights even for families, right? So Thursday night, um, it's usually not one of our... I mean, it's usually our, we have a little bit less viewership on Thursdays, so um, I don't know if just people aren't there or, or what uh, people have other thing going on, but usually one of our view our lower ones. I, I got, I will be up to claim my coins. I think you get them anyway, even if you, if you're not awake, they still, I think you still get them. If you're, even if you're not here. Yeah, the P, the red is nice, right? Rhodesian, I mean the purple, sorry, I don't know what I'm saying, red. Oh, critical role, you think I'm, you think I have a big critical role watching? I'm, I'm competing against them? I like critical role, I've actually never watched them. Has anybody else watched Critical Role? Anybody else a Critical Role um, fan? Okay, here we go. Let's see how this looks. I think we're gonna go up. Figure it out. I think we've also had way more streams than we typically do this week. Oh, come on. What's going on here? Okay, there we go. Okay, going to side here. It's gonna go a little up, I think, which actually looks okay. I think just to keep it thin and clean, we'll do top down and we'll keep it here. It just, it's tough because, well, actually probably the right thing to, no. I mean, it, actually that might be better is just to run it over here. Main reason I might run it over here is because then our power cable is not going to cause too much of a bump, which can be a problem. This doesn't have the most, the thickest cable management room. Um, and so you're try we have to worry about that, uh, where the two cables connect. Hey, Robbie, we got a person over on kick that wants to know what got you interested in building PCs? Uh, for me, honestly, it was, uh, it was an accident. Um, I used to be a pre-built builder. I used to be a pre-built guy. Uh, and I wasn't actually, I didn't even build my first PC to like 20, 2018 or 2017. Um, so, uh, I had a friend of mine, his name was Dom Humphrey and I was working at Xbox on the time on crackdown. And uh, he was like, he was like, Roby, you really should build your first PC. And I was like, okay, okay. So I, I had owned, uh, I had owned Dells, and almost exclusively at that point, I mean, the Alienware Dells. So it just tells you a little bit in terms of. And as a game developer, we obviously used a lot of them. Origin was something that we had seen a lot of at that point in time. So I was looking at an Origin PC at the time, um, and I was like, okay, well, I'll build my own. So he helped me put the parts together, um, and uh, he helped me start putting the parts together. And we built the first one right there at work. And I was like, this is really fun. Um, and so I was like, uh, I looked at the cost and I was like, well, it's not cheap, but I wanna do more of it. Um, and so uh, there was an organization called Extra Life um, and they are a charity organization. And I had already done a, an Xbox, an Xbox uh, charity stream for Extra Life. 
and I was like, well, I wonder if um, I could get some sponsorships for these charity streams and then we could just build PCs on these charity streams. Um, and so I reached out to Corsair um, and uh, they, a guy named Andrew at Corsair was like, yeah, Roby, that would be totally cool. So uh, a AMD uh, and Corsair were our first sponsors and for Extra Life, we ended up raising like 10 grand um, and uh, we built, me and two other guys who'd never built PCs before, uh, built these three PCs during this 24 hour live stream. Um, so I started doing that. I did that for a couple years. Um, they were terrible, by the way. Like I go back and look at them and like I, I, wrote, I was really honest that we had no idea what we were doing and we shouldn't have never given those PCs away, but we did and we never got any complaints about them, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So I did that another year. We ended up raising well, like 40K. Um, and then uh, the last time, the last time I did it, which was actually after I'd started doing this uh, like streaming, uh, we ended up raising almost $100,000. Um, giving away, we gave away like Threadripper systems and stuff like that. It was actually pretty crazy. Um, so anyway, uh, fast forward to when Microsoft bought Mixer, I had been doing a lot of streaming and stuff for Xbox. Um, and they were like, hey, Mixer had launched. They're like, Roby, uh, we're really liking what you're doing on, um, you're doing on uh, these extra live streams. Would you, would you consider maybe just doing a weekly show where you built PCs? And I was like, well, that sounds cool. I mean, like, I, I seem to know what I'm doing, which I really didn't at the time. I was like, I seem to know what I'm doing, so uh, I'd be totally down to try that out. So uh, anyway, uh, Newegg uh, was their sponsor, and they sent us enough parts every month to build one PC. And I built a PC, it was called Power Builds, um, and uh, Power Builds with a girl host named Brenna, D Brenna Duff. Everybody called her Brenna Dactyl, and she was a mixer streamer at the time. And that show ran for two seasons, and we built custom liquid cooled. We built all sorts of like, it was like I literally just took like a, it was like taking a college like crash course in PC building. And I built like a window, we did a window central theme PC and gave that away. And every month we gave a PC away and power builds was like three or four. We ended up having like three or 400 people who would watch on a consistent basis. And it was like on Tuesday or Wednesdays at like two in the afternoon. Well, um, eventually Mixer, and I hope this is answering your question, uh, eventually Mixer uh, bought, uh, paid for Ninja exclusivity. Um, and so I'm gonna switch to side camera here. So Ninja, uh, uh, Mixer paid for Ninja exclusivity and uh, they didn't have enough money to continue running these uh, weekly live shows. And so uh, Newegg was like, hey, you know, and I, and I was streaming on Mixer on my own at that point in time and they're like, well, Roby, what if you just took this show over? Like, what if you, instead of it being power builds, it just became Jedi Spidey, thank you for the five gifted subs. Um, he was like, what if you just took it over and we sponsored you to do one build a month and we'd send it and the new egg was like, this would be super cool. And uh, you know, maybe uh, Mixer would give you front page every time your show was on and all that sort of stuff. So I, I started doing that um, and we grew really, really, really quickly. Uh, and then I also decided at that point, I was like, you know, I'm going to launch a YouTube channel. And that's how Roby Tech was essentially born. And now 200 and what we're at, like almost, we're at almost 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, what, 90,000 on, uh, almost 90,000 on Twitch. We're at 108 on Kick. Um, we are at uh, 150,000 on uh, TikTok. And then we just crested 64,000 on Instagram. Uh, bringing our followership almost to a million uh, all up um, across all those channels. And that's how Roby Tech be, ha, is where it is now. So that's what that's how we did it. So that's my that's my origin story. Yeah, we, we did. And even before I did, I used to do a show called Morning Mixer with uh, J, uh, with uh, a guy named Jess Corden. Uh, but that was not a PC building show. That was just a morning game show. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was how I started. And then I know some people like, uh, for instance, Cole and uh, Blondie have been with me since we did Morning Mixer, um, which was a long, like when Mixer first started. Yeah, so it was a long time ago. So yeah, that's, that's Roby Tech. And that all happened, that's all happened over the course of like, I mean, we're fairly young. The first Roby Tech show was like October, was like, yeah, we're only like three, we're just coming up on three years. So it's pretty young. And that's where Tom found me, yeah. And we did the E3 Mixer stream, which I was on. I did a lot of stuff, a lot of on-stage stuff for uh, Xbox. 
um, which is now where I do like now I do a lot of hosting for a lot of companies like Intel, AMD, uh, Seagate, um, Asus, um, and then I also and a lot of that is just because there's not a lot of people who can do who are personable like myself, um, and, you know, who are personable like myself, but also uh, have a pretty deep technical knowledge. And I don't pretend to be the like the, the smartest dude in the room. There are definitely people who know more than I do, but I'm okay with not knowing everything and learning as well. So, which is pretty cool. Hey, thanks, Quintus. <clears throat> if you have a lot of RGB fans, do you need the Corsair Commander Pro? Not necessarily, because not all fans, not all RGB fans work with the Corsair Commander Pro. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking Cole and Blondie and Tom down memory lane right now. Okay, so there is our cable management. Outside of just putting our, our PSU in, there's not a whole lot more I need to do. What am I looking for? Yeah, it's this. So yeah, that's how I got into it. We're trying. I mean, it's funny because Kick's interesting. Like I, I, uh, the one thing that's interesting about playing on Kick or streaming on Kick is that I am not like there is not a massive. You know, on when we stream on Twitch or YouTube, there's a pretty massive audience for tech content and so um, we don't there's not the same thing over on uh, kick right now so uh, kick is one of those things that the, there's a couple things we could do we could move up we could have people stream over on, you know more people just sit on kick just to get the viewership up and then that puts us higher up in the just chatting uh, which is one thing and then we can move over to science and technology uh, but until you're until you have a pretty uh, good group of people to feed on a consi consistent basis it actually gets hard on new channels but I mean, we, we're like, it is what it is. We're gonna keep working on it and, and keep going as we as we keep going, yeah. And just for people who don't know, kick.com is another streaming platform we're also streaming to now, of which there's about 30 people chilling over there right now. But just so you know, there's 300, almost 400 people watching holistically. Um, and so 30 of those are chilling over there on kick right now. Uh, guys, don't forget, don't forget to like. Um, uh, let's actually, why don't we just go take a quick moment we got it. Don't forget to go over to youtube.com slash RobyTech and hit that thumbs up button. We're trying to get 250 likes. That unlocks another giveaway. Let's talk about giveaways real quick, and then we'll get back to this. We're at GPU installation time right now, and the build's actually almost finished. So uh, one of the things that we are announcing, we're going to announce the winner for our St. Patrick's Day build. That announcement is going to happen today. Uh, the build that we're building now is actually the sub-only giveaway for Discord and Twitch. Um, and if you want to get in on that, all you got to do is be subscribed either on Twitch or on Discord uh, for the month of, May, of April. If you, if you are subscribed to both, you basically stack your entries. Uh, and again, Discord is where you get uh, behind the scenes AMAs. We're gonna be doing an AMA on Saturday uh, just with Discord subs. They're gonna get, they're getting special invitations and notifications on the new Intel morning show that's gonna be launching on Friday uh, next week. So every Friday starting at eight, uh, 9 a.m., uh, myself and Alex from Intel will be doing a morning show uh, with gaming news and all that sort of stuff. And my Discord subs will be specially flagged uh, in that uh, as well. Um, the other thing too is uh, if you wanna get extra entries, you can subscribe it to your one on Twitch, that gets you one, uh, three entries. Subscribe it to your two gets you five, and subscribe it to your three gets you 10. And then every gifted sub gets you an extra entry towards winning uh, this PC, which is valued at you know just under $2,000. Um, if uh, we also over on kick.com, we're going all the way up to a 4090. We have the potential of giving all the way up to a 4090 over at kick.com. Uh, that's a subscriber only giveaway for the team, for the folks over at kick. So you can pop over, uh, drop a sub, and then you're entered to win. Uh, it's just part of building our community. Uh, the way you do that is kick.com slash Robitech. Uh, we are gonna, right now, if we get to 300, we will unlock a 3060, but we will put in a 13600K. And then as we get more subs, every 100 subs, the GPU grows all the way up to 1600 subs, which would give away a 4090 on kick. So we would give away a 4090 if we get that many subs over on kick.com slash Robitech. Uh, lastly, we have some PCs for sale. Well, well, well below MSRP, uh, 7900 XTX, 7900 X system for three grand. We also have this beautiful um, system right here, also for $3,000. Um, so, you know, prices are negotiable within reason. If you head over to robitech.com slash uh, PCs for sale, um, you can basically check those out. They're incredible deals, like well below what you would pay. And they're based, they're all brand new systems that have barely been used, but they need to go to new homes because we have new systems that need to go onto the sets and stuff like that. And we just, we're literally tripping over PCs. Um, and then all that money goes towards giveaways and everything else like that and us buying new gear. 
I'm trying to think, is there anything else BMOC that I've forgotten? I think that's it, right? That's all the giveaways, yeah? And then we're also, if we get 2 million, 2 million points, we'll give away a 5600X. That's it, right, BMOC? Tom, have I figured anything? Sounds good. Okay. Oh, you got it, you got everything good. Okay, there it is. Still not seeing that Halo build on there. Which Halo build, Sub Hunter? <laughs> uh, actually, the Halo build is at is in the Halo Museum. Uh, the Halo build is in the Halo Museum, so it will be there, and it that's where it will live forever. They actually they actually bought it, and it's sitting there now. So, okay, let's jump up. Uh, let's go back to putting the GPU in. Yeah, there's a Halo Museum at 343, and that the Halo one with the rate the that um, with that Halo GPU is in the Halo Museum. Just like, I don't know if you guys know this, but the McLaren PC that I did for Extra Life is actually at F1 headquarters at McLaren. So, which was actually pretty cool too. So we have some, some famous PCs that I've built. I don't think it's open to the public. Uh, it's, it's just, I don't think there's a way to go see it. Uh, is this build considered mid-range? You know, that's a really great question. I have a terrible idea of value. So I'm gonna go to the peanut gallery. Tom, is this considered mid-range? Yeah, I would say it's mid-range these okay. days. BMOC agree, disagree? I'm sorry, I was talking to my, my daughter about- It's okay, um, you can talk to your daughter, that's way computer. more important. Uh, Question was, would you consider this PC a mid-range PC? Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, I would, I would consider uh, 4070 to be a mid-range, yeah. All right, cool, there we go. Uh, the custom cables you're seeing right here are the Asia Horse. Okay, guys, time for that Zotac. This is the Zotac 4070. Drum roll. Drum roll. I think I, I actually do like these cards. It comes with, oh, it comes with a K. Oh, look at this. It actually comes with this, an anti-sag bracket if we needed it. There it is right there. It's a pretty nice one, actually. Nice and simple. We'll have to see if we need what, that. What was in that silver packet on top of that foam? You know what? We should open it. That's a good question. It's got, it, um, by the way, these only require two. Let's see what's in the silver package, and then we'll take out the thing. We're definitely in good shape on time. Zotac wasn't Sean Connery in the movie? Okay, so what is in here? So Zotac, a Zotac card. It looks like it's a standing, maybe you can use it to stand. Oh yeah, so you can make a Zotac standing, dude. And then, no stickers what? though. Where, what are your cool. thoughts on lack of stickers? Eh, I like the card. He likes the card. How's anybody no. gonna know I got a Zotac card if I don't have a sticker on my case? Exactly. No floppy disk drive. No, not this time. No mini CD. Driver CDs are bad enough. I, I really like it now that most MOBOs actually come with USB drives. Or better yet, drivers on the freaking, drivers on the freaking built on the board or injected in the BIOS. So at least you can like download them yourself. Okay, here it is guys, the Zotac card. Close this up for you. One thing that's interesting about Zotac is the size of the uh, dust covers for the sockets. I'll show you what I mean. They're so long. No racing sponsor. I, we, I'd, I'd like to work at it. I, I do want to, at some point in time, if we continue to be as successful we are, get a racing sponsorship on Richard Vershur's F2 car. I want a Roby Tech logo on it. Um, here you go, right here. So here's the card. Like I said, unique in nature. Like it's just much more organic. Uh, gold, uh, if you could do the, it's not like we'd vert mountain this, uh, this particular chassis, but um, not a bad looking, I like, I like the Zotac cards. It's got like the kind of the Star trek into into it. Um, they're very different from the other 4090s. And then this is what I was talking about. Look at how big the, like the, the little holders. I mean, it's easier to grip them, which is nice, but they're, they're just very long. So there it is. It's, it's got like a spaceship look, yes. 
The 4090, I actually really like the 4090 look of the Zotac card. And there we go, guys. Just like that, it's in. Actually, I will say this bar here like melds well with the purple, though it changes colors, right? It looks good. So, Size-wise, holding it, um, what do you compare it to a 30 series size-wise? I can go get a 30 series. Uh, it's probably about the size of a 30 series Strix card. So it's about that size. Oh, wow. it, is, okay. it is quite a bit longer. And compared to like a four, if you guys want to see it versus the 4070 Founders Edition, it's quite a bit bigger than a 40 series. Like a 4070 FE is pretty tiny. Um, here, I'll go grab a 4070 FE so you guys can see it. I thought we had it in here and then I put it back in the other room. I love this, I'm, I'll be honest, man, the 4070 FE is like, I wish the 4080 was this size or even the 4070 Ti, not that there is a Founders Edition of that, but I wish there was a 4070 Ti FE. Ugh. Let me get this last screw in here real quick so I don't lose it. I don't think you're gonna need a sag bracket, guys. Okay, there we go. So here is, so that's, that's, that's the founders, that's the Zotac. And here is the size of a 4070 FE. Holy so cow. it's, a, it's, it's way bigger than an FE card. So yeah, it's, it's quite a bit, it's, it's, it's like quite a bit bigger. This card is so tiny. So I want to see if uh, I can get a Tiki from um, the folks over at uh, Falcon because I think for a like a small form factor streaming PC, the 4070 is going to be really good. Or yeah, the problem is, is that I would do a 7900 XTX, but I'm having issues with the 7900 XTX working with Ninja Atomoses. And Ninja has been working on, and it's my capture devices that I use. And so the HDMI 2.1 is having problems with handshakes with certain high-end capture cards or capture devices. And if you don't know what a Ninja Atomos is, I will show you. So this is a Ninja Atomos. And all of my cameras, I know Tom's seen these, but this is a Ninja Atomos. And this is a high-end capture device. And what it does is it basically takes every input that we have and it goes in via HDMI and then it captures it at ProRes RAW on uh, SSDs, which Samsung, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Seagate provided all the SSDs for these. And every single camera that we have here is plugged into one of these, as is the capture device. For some reason on Radeon cards, it doesn't matter. It, like if I do a, an Xbox, it works, a PlayStation 5, it works. But for some reason, the new Radeon 7000 series does not handshake with this at all. And so, um, and that's one of the issues is why a lot of times it's like I want to benchmark and the thing is is that we have to do a shift but it now seems like there's even an issue with the uh, certain capture cards like the EVGA one that now it doesn't do reverse so it's just like one of these things that we're trying to get figured out and Ninja is working on it but they haven't they don't have any 7000 series so they've, they've now got one and they're trying to fix it so this is why this has been my headache for AMD capture uh, AMD GPUs has just been the fact that it doesn't work with high-end like this, the Shoguns, which this is actually what most studios use uh, for doing their input captures. Um, so I, it's something that they're definitely gonna have to fix. I just hope it happens faster. So there's a, just a little FYI that you guys didn't know about. And those things are about 600 bucks a piece. So they're not cheap. Um, so like switching to something else would be a very expensive endeavor. I don't even know if there is another alternative to be honest. Okay, so there's that. Let's go to top down. Let's get our, our 16 pin plugged in. And then guys, we just gotta put our PSU in. Uh, no, it didn't work. The, so the way, so it will work. Uh, the problem is, is that the way it works, org. So um, this is just, again, fun. So the way that my system typically works is there's an HDMI cable that HDMI cable jumps, runs into my Atomos, and then the Atomos jumps down to a capture card, and then the capture card then goes out to um, the uh, the capture card goes out to the monitors and what you guys see. 
If I reverse it and I go to the capture card first and then out to the Atomos and then the Atomos out to the uh, display, that works, but then the resolution uh, basically ends up getting stuck at 1080p. So it's that thing where it said, like the, you guys remember we were trying to do a bunch of benchmarking and no matter what I could do, it wouldn't go above 1080p. That, that's the problem I have if I reverse it. So then yes, you can see an image, but I can't benchmark. So the way that it is the other way, I can go all the way and benchmark up to 4K, but when I do it, the flip it, it doesn't work on the Radeon side. I can only do 1080p, which doesn't help me at all. Um, so that's, uh, so yes, it's just, I need them to fix it on the Ninja side, which hopefully they do, so then I'll be good. Yeah. The Atomos, yeah, we don't know why. It's actually not the Atomos that's the problem, it's the capture card. The capture card for some reason says, this pipeline is now 1080p only um, versus the other way it doesn't do that. So it's just, I don't know. It's super, it's, uh, it's super weird. You guys are getting a lot of education on the tech of Robitech. Oh, this has already got one, okay, cool. Okay, cool, here, this is actually the right way, awesome. side I wish this actually went directly I wish this had a the chute that goes right directly into the because this actually might be a problem for uh, for the cable management as well pull it down long enough it looks like it'll be fine okay guys we're at the end as long as you're here we're good okay going to top down and that is our final build guys this is it all we got to do now is put in our GPU I mean our PSU which in this case is our 750 G6 Ugh. ooga booga Does Asia, they do the cape, they do the purple. Do, uh, Tom, do we have a cable? Do we have a link for the purple Asia horse? I thought we did. They should be down in the description. CPU cooler is the AK620. Oh no, I do not, yes. They don't have any 16 pin extensions yet, no. They don't do purple, yeah, uh, Asia horse extensions. There are, there's a purple and black one you can get. We've used it in another build, um, but they don't make, Asia horse doesn't make these yet. I'm hoping soon. Yeah, it'd be cool if it was all purple. I see what you're saying. Now I get your question. That is a very good question. And now you have the answer, do the Drew. <laughs> you and I were thinking you were talking about a very different thing. No, that's a Corsair water bottle. Water bottle. You think the PC weighs eight or nine pounds? I don't know how much the PC weighs right now. I can do it without before the PSU, but I don't want to do that because you guys get a guess. By the way, Tom, have we thought about how we're gonna do the competition for the weight? I don't know if Tom's still there. Bmock, did Tom say he's leaving? He might have fallen asleep. He's in Blondie. hibernate. Oh, no, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, Blondie says she's got it ready to go for the weight, the weight competition. I guess you might have talked about it already. Yep. We all discussed it, and we we're, we're good to go there. So what's what's the how's it going to work? So we've got four choices. Uh, Blondie will put the pole up. And uh, you choose from one of those four choices. 
Oh, okay. So is it? Oh, it'll be a poll, not a, not a, not a uh, prediction. Oh. Oh, prediction. Excuse me. Okay, so it's a prediction with four choices. Ooh, this is get. That's going to be challenging. So this is one. Okay, so I could do these two, right? That's a VGA, VGA. Okay, cool. And I only need two, so I can leave that alone. This is more VGA. CPU, right, okay. And, and I don't actually have any SATA, guys. No SATA connections at all. Okay, so we got all that now. Okay. And Tom, you said we're excited about deals today. You got some good options. Are some, are any of them from the Amazon stream at all? Yeah, there's, a, there's one or two of them up there, I believe. Do we have any Do we have any prank ones today or no? I, I like no. we haven't done prank ones in a while. No, no, no troll jobs today. <laughs> Is that Chuck Norris's chest here? What? No SATA makes me SATA. I like it. I like it. Okay, there's our VGA options right there. That'll be fine for this. Single CPU, and then our motherboard. It's all good. We're gonna be, first one we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up the zip tie, and then we'll give you some time for the, how much does it weigh? CPU two, oh, I'll do a CPU one. Okay, it's actually kind of a light, uh, a light PSU uh, option here. There we go. And there we go, and there we go. Okay, let's get this in. I like the G7, the G6s, because they had black fans. The, instead of the green, or the light, lighter green, for the fan options, for the, if you remember, EVGA has different color ones. Okay, let's go to side here. We'll bring it up so you guys can see. I don't think I remember, I don't think I had any uh, false camera angles today. I think I've done a pretty good job of keeping it all in the right camera angles today. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Even Blondie said so. That's high praise coming from Blondie. Okay, first screw in. These are the last kind of four, like, assembly screws of the build here. Okay, are you not, there we go. I was like, why are you not letting me bring you forward? Let me bring you forward. There we go. Last one here. Okay. Last screw, like the last airbender. Okay, there we go. Now it is just time to connect all our cables and call it a day, which there is not a lot. Okay, so we have our PSU, oh, top down. We got our PSU here, 24 pin. And we got that way over. Main reason being is just to keep the keep the cable management to a low amount here. That's gonna be all by itself, all by itself. There we go, we're gonna do CPU over here. And that'll take this out. When are we doing a Roby in concert? One night only. 
one night only, all by myself. We're gonna sing all by myself. It's gonna be amazing. Would you guys buy tickets? Let me know down in the description below. Yeah, I got, how are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? We have enough people here. We're now over, four, we were over 400 there briefly. Uh, back down to 380. Roby versus Corse 16 Corsair fans. That is not my favorite uh, odds right there, Org. 174. Come on, guys, let's push it to 250. Let's get those last ones. There's more than enough people here. Head over to youtube.com slash Roby Tech Live. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's get those last, those last likes. We have more than enough people here. What's up, Ricky? Or Rhodesian, is it, if that's your real name. Okay, here we go. GPU, last hookup for the GPU. Because they're therapeutic, Shaquille. They're therapeutic. A lot of people just enjoy watching things come together. And then there's a, they, they're always different. Every build is different. It's not like you're watching the same build over and over and over again. So I think that's a lot of the reason is you watch is that you're gonna see different stuff. And the other thing too is even though you bought a really nice PC, um, uh, your PC will be outdated. You know, the moment we get the next whatever it is, right? So it's a way to see the latest hardware and see what the difference is. And should you make, should it make sense to upgrade or not upgrade, you know, as you come along with time. So I think there's just a bunch of reasons, right? But I think number one is it's just a lot of people just like watching things get put together. Just like people like watching pimple popping and that doesn't make any sense to me, but they do. Adult Legos. Yeah, it's adult Lego. But the thing is, is like adult can also do, adults also like Lego. So it's not yeah, like even, true. it's like, I like, I, you know, there have been times when I've thought about, you know, I just like to just stream building Lego, but um, I have enough PCs to build that that doesn't make a ton of sense. How cool would it actually be to have a Lego PC that you could build though? That would be pretty cool. Would you, like, if Lego came out with, like, a PC kit that you could actually build? I'd That'd be, be one of the first cool. people in line. I know Riddick would be. Pimple popping while building a PC. I think there was a Lego keyboard. I think you're right. There was, a, at one point in time, a Lego keyboard. That reminds me, we are going to be kicking off, and I think we might add it to some Friday, like, every other Friday. Uh, back to doing keyboard builds. Um, and they're just like chill keyboard build streams because I really like building keyboards. So, and I have a, I have a company that uh, wants to partner with me on that. So I, we're, we're investigating. So would you be down to watch keyboard builds again? I'd love to know, feedback. I would be upset it would fall apart. <clears throat> if you, somebody said, I'd be upset if the, kit, the PC would fall apart. I think even if you did a Lego themed PC, right? And like made a GPU that looked like a Lego brick and some stuff like that, there could be some Lego theming that isn't Lego, but it's treated like Lego. I have a Lego 4090, it's only Lego. There we go, guys. Build is done, completely finished. <clears throat> there it is. There's the, there's the back, which I think looks pretty nice. So the back is clean. And then uh, we'll turn it around and show you guys the front. And then uh, we just got a little, qu couple quick things. We gotta go through our sponsor. Um, we'll, uh, we gotta go through our sponsor real quick. And then uh, we'll announce now that once this PC turns on, to celebrate this PC turning on, given this is the next community giveaway build, we will announce the winner of the other PC. Okay, uh, let's put this back together.
What do you guys think? Thomas and Vmock came out clean, you think? I like everything, and if you want my personal opinion, I don't like the way that 16-pin cable folds down into the right like that with no slots at the bottom for the case. It would you are you, would you rather what 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 would you change like have it run? I wish it, went, I wish it went straight down, right? Oh yeah, that's always better. But you need a hole there. Yeah, because that case doesn't have any there. It's just that's the only thing that personally, I know it's it's minor, right? But uh, you know personally, I, I don't care for that. But uh, everything else looks super clean on it. I really like that that uh, zero dark cooler too. Kurosaki, being being cheeky, says looks like a PC. It is really dark, so let's we can go back like this and show it a little bit. Like so, we'll go to side camera. It should light up nicely inside. We have enough RGB, but there it is right there. You know, for the most part, pretty clean in terms of its overall look. So we'll get it turned on in just a minute. Yeah, it'd be nice if you. Yeah, there's no way to do it to have it go down. I couldn't. I couldn't make it go down even if I wanted to. So another thing, um, if you have them, I, I don't know if you do or not, but purple cable combs that side. For the 16 pin? Yeah. Yeah, no. Those you'd have to like. Basically, we just need a purple cable. Ugh. Okay. Well, there we go, guys. Okay, so let's do our our our. Our fun stuff real quick. I don't know if it's fun, but basically get our our uh, get our deals and sponsorship stuff out of the way, and then we will turn it on and announce our winner for the last PC giveaway. Blondie says zip ties as well. Oh, and we'll do zip ties. Yeah, we always do that after we uh, after we uh, do deal and stuff. You guys want to do that first? We can do it first. We'll do the zip ties. Odd or even, so that way we can get the how much does it weigh going. So let's give her some time to set that up. So we'll do odd and even first. Okay, so we'll get this done top down. How many did we use? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's 10. One, two, three, four, five. There's 15. One, two, three, four, five. 21. It is odd today, guys. 21. It is odd today. So there it is, 21. Now, the question, we're going to have some options that are coming up now for the last, the last one. Uh, the other one, the last prediction is getting ready to come up, and it's how much does the build weigh? How much does the build weigh? And we'll do that before we turn it on. So I've got the... We've got the scale here, and we'll see how much it weighs. No, it's A, it's air-cooled. This one's air-cooled. And remember, guys, this build you can actually win. So if you want to win this build, all you got to do is be subscribed on Discord uh, uh, or on Twitch, uh, and then you're entered to win. Uh, hey, Sinful dropping a sub. Whoa. Sinful dropping a sub over on, uh, over on uh, Kick. Thank you very much for that. So we're doing pretty good in terms of our stuff. We have 58 uh, over on uh, Twitch today, and we have what? We've gotten like four, uh, six over on, uh, six over on uh, Kick today. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> so heavy it sags the table. Okay, I'm gonna bring up our sponsor stuff real quick. Make sure so we're while you're there. doing that, Roby, the predictions, uh, just so you can you can hear them too. Okay. The first uh, first one less than 35.5 pounds. The second one, 35.5 to 40.4 pounds. The third one, 40.5 to 45.4 pounds. And the fourth one, greater than 45.4 pounds. There we go, guys. So get your vote in. Win in some of those channel points. You can, uh, we can unlock that. We can unlock that uh, 5600X giveaway. Let's uh, unlock ro launching Robitech. We got. Our last thing is just talking about Ruby Tech deals. There it is. Okay. Okay, so you get finished with a PC like this. You're like, oh, or you win the PC like this. Because this will not come, this will come with a this will come with Windows and everything set up, but it won't come with any accounts with. Thank you very much for the subscription, by the way. 
uh, you get done with something like this, you're like, hey, uh, I need to pick up a copy of Windows. So how much does Windows cost? Well, you take a look over at Best Buy or something like that, it's usually around, uh, around 100 bucks, sometimes a little bit more, 119 or whatever it was, depending if you're gonna go pro for home. So here you can buy at VIP slash EDKDeals.com. You can pick it up for $31.37. But if you hit buy now and you use code RBCK on the checkout code, what was $31.37 now is only, uh, wait for it, $21.96. Well, that's pretty cool. Is there anything else that I can get a really significant dif discount? Yes, you can. And that is Microsoft Office, which is way more than 100 bucks uh, for a uh, individual. So you can get it for about $206 for an individual uh, license if you wanted a lifetime license. Uh, but here you pick it up instead of 200 and something dollars, you can pick it up here for $74.52. But again, if you use code, uh, if you hit buy now and you use code RBCK at checkout and hit apply, uh, what was $74.52 uh, now drops down to $52.16. And again, if you have questions, we've literally had thousands and thousands of people here at Robitech who've used these codes. We've verified that they are authentic. They are OEM codes, which means they're one use. They do not transfer. So if you were to uh, wanting to upgrade your PC, uh, sorry, if you wanted to do a new PC or move that license over, that does not work on this. Um, but uh, the best thing about them is, like I said, they have great customer service. If you have issues, you can reach out to them if there's a problem with the code. Um, and like I said, you can talk to anybody uh, here uh, who's used it. I know a ton of people have used it with multiple, multiple uh, machines and not had any problems whatsoever. So, and there you go, Do The Drew is one of them. So that is our sponsor and thank you very much for them sponsoring uh, today's stream. Next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about, because a lot of people are probably watching this for the first time going, Roby, I wanna start getting into PC building or I'm looking to build my own PC. Well, let me tell you guys about Roby Tech Deals on Twitter. Uh, this is Tom, who you guys hear. He's, he's one of the, you guys, you see him uh, chatting and he's up there in the corner. That's how uh, you see uh, Tom talking about it all the time. Uh, but Tom is uh, the curator of Roby Tech Deals on Twitter. Uh, and it's a great location to go and find deals on tons of different parts, cases, GPUs, games, consoles, handhelds, all that sort of stuff. He is finding deals all the time. There's literally thousands, tens of thousands of people who follow him and he saves money for all of those individuals. Of course, they're affiliate links, so it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does. We do get a kickback, so it's a great place to go. And then again, over on our Discord server, discord.gg slash Robitech, you can go to the Robitech links location and ask Tom to help you find a deal on a particular item or even have him make an affiliate link for you. So it gives us a little kickback and essentially we continue to have giveaways and fund our team and stuff like that. Uh, so we can continue to make uh, awesome content just like this. So follow it at Roby Tech Deals on Twitter or head over to discord.gg slash Roby Tech. There's a Roby Tech Deals um, Discord channel as well if you don't want to, if you don't follow along our Twitter and you're an anti-social, uh, sorry, anti-social media kind of guy. Last person, last thing to talk about is latest GPU drivers and all that stuff, robitech.com. It's a great place to find, uh, again, deals, uh, our PCs for sale, uh, things like when we sell build mats, when we have our jackets, all that stuff all available over at robitech.com. You can also see things like our latest GPU driver. So if you're looking for the latest GPU driver for Arc, AMD, NVIDIA, which just came out today, all of those are low tier. If you wanna have me build a PC for you live on the show, this is where you go to do that. And over here, just to walk you through a couple things, here's PCs for sale. Again, this Ford AMD system, which is a crazy ridiculous system, one of one, custom painted, all that stuff. We're selling this system as a 7900X and a 7900XTX for $3,000, that is well below MSRP. You could not build a PC for this price and also have it custom painted and all that sort of stuff. And then this Aura Spotlight build, which again, 13900K with a 3080 Ti, all custom water-cooled, one of one, uh, specifically built for the Aura Spotlight and has been sitting back here uh, in, our K in our show forever. All the parts are listed there, $3,000, just reach out to me via email. Uh, also, if you see a build, like for instance, the build we just got finished doing here, uh, you can just go here to Robitech on builds. Here's all the parts for every single build. Um, if you like the way something looks or if you wanna mirror a build that we've done already, all of these are here and they're, how long, Tom, are they cashed for? I don't know, he's, yeah, he may not answer. I think they're cashed for a while. So I think it's like months worth of build. So if you ever see something, you're like, oh, I'd love to see the parts for that. Just head over to robitech.com slash build. Yeah, three months. Okay, there we go. Uh, last thing is deals. So if you want to talk about deals, here you go. Let's see what we have for deals from Tom today. 
Um, guys, 190 likes on YouTube. Head over to youtube.com slash RobyTech live. Hit that thumbs up button. We can get to 250. There's enough people here. Okay, so i3 uh, 12100F. Uh, sub $100. Uh, this is our, we actually use this in our $650 build. Uh, you're surprised how good this CPU really is. Uh, and it's also very inexpensive if you want to check that out. Um, we use this, uh, I, we, this is a, this is a, uh, uh, a CPU we definitely recommend. Um, some people jump up to an i5, but sub $100 for the CPU is really, really good. And again, it also has an integrated GPU. No, it doesn't. This one does not have an integrated GPU. Am I wrong on that? BMOC. KF. No, the F. The F, F does yep. not. It does not. That's right. Okay, I was wrong. Okay, so that's I was right on that. Okay, Asus ROG Strix Scar 15. Guys, this is a nutty deal. So this is a Core i5, uh, sorry, a RTX 3080 with a Ryzen 9 5900HX, 16 gigs of DDR5 and a one terabyte SSD. This is regular a $2,500 laptop. This is the same as an RTX 4070 laptop that we just showed off, that we were showing off as part of the, the stuff yesterday. This is very similar in terms of power, uh, but this is on sale for literally $600 less. So obviously Asus is uh, clearing inventory. This is an awesome deal if you're looking for a, a high-end gaming laptop for 1500 bucks. The Insignia six-quart multifunctional pressure cooker that's, uh, it's got 10,000 reviews at 4.7 out of five stars. It's $30 off, so if you're looking for a pressure cooker, uh, basically 49 bucks. Um, the Acer Nitro uh, KG241, uh, this is a uh, 1920 by 1080 VA gaming monitor with free sync, 165 hertz, uh, one millisecond response time, display port 1.2 and two HDMI 2.0s for $119. Uh, and it's 165 hertz, so if you're looking for a uh, you have a budget build, like for instance, like the $650 build and you still want a high refresh rate monitor to go with it, there, this is a great option there. Uh, GoPro Hero 8 Black 4K waterproof action camera. Um, I, this is what my kids are using in Australia right now. On sale $229.99 over at Best Buy. It's, these are great for vacations, uh, spe uh, skiing, uh, biking, uh, water sports specifically for this one. So if you're like a water skier or a swimmer, I use this in... Uh, Belize for following sea turtles. Um, so it's it's a really, really cool camera and it, it, it takes really good quality footage. And then the LG 55 inch uh, C2 series OLED uh, on sale for almost a thousand bucks. This is for a 55 inch OLED. Uh, this one is 120 Hertz, right? Yeah. 120 Hertz OLED. Uh, this is the same. So I, I, I am on the, uh, I think I'm using the C, yeah, I'm using the C2 series. These are like their best ones. And then I use their uh, 80 set, their 88 inch, and I have their 97 inch as well. And these are what I game on when you saw that video of me playing on things, 120 Hertz. And it's it works great for if you have a, a PC plugged into it as well. So that is a ridiculous deal for uh, that television. Uh, and if you've never, once you've, once you've seen OLED or gamed on OLED or played or watched movies on OLED, you'll never go back, so. Um, pretty ridiculous deals. If I was going to say top ones, this laptop is nuts. Uh, and also this OLED is a really good there's, price. And I'd say those are my two favorites. Scroll down. Oh, there's one more. Oh, the backpack. This backpack is also, it's got how many ratings on it? 81,000. 81,000 ratings at five, five stars. stars. <laughs> it's $30 and they have them in 15 inch, 17 inch. So if you're looking for a great gaming laptop, a gaming, gaming backpack, this is a really good deal for that too. So those are deals. Good job, Tom. We get to actually tell you good job, Tom, like live. Thanks, Thanks Tom. I appreciate it. Thank Tom you. does good work, guys. Tom does good work. So if you guys see anything there, I still have my LG C9. Very happy with it. Yes, Clark, it's a fantastic. Uh, and the C2, is that the one that has the burn-in protection? Do you know, Tom? I don't know offhand. The, C2, the C1 um, is had it uh and the c2 is the newer version so you know I can i'm assuming that, that it I'm does sure. have the burn-in uh warranty as well I'll, I'll look i'll have an answer for you well, in look a second sir. pressure cooker keeps food warm while you play on the pc there you go kurosaki thinking with his noggin okay guys it is the time that everybody's been waiting for it's time for us to turn on the pc uh, i guess we we're not going to do the post one i forgot we, do, we usually do the will it post but we're going to do the way one instead today uh, then we'll, we, we, that way she'll have had it, had it set up for the first time and we'll do the, well, does it post uh, next time. Okay, here we go. Let's get it plugged in. Ugh. 
need to grab, oh, there it is. Another thing on that TV is uh, it's G-Sync compatible, AMD FreeSync Premium, and it's got LG Game Optimizer as well. Yeah, and it's also got things like studio mode. So like if you're watching on like certain movies like Netflix or, uh, yeah. or on, uh, on uh, Amazon, um, it will change the visual settings to match that of how the filmmaker wanted you to see it. So uh, there's a bunch of like, so it's basically adaptive, um, adaptive video settings, which is pretty crazy. I really love those televisions. So, and I can't believe, dude, I remember when you used to buy like 55 inch OLEDs used to be like three grand. Yeah. I'll break down one of these days and get one. You should, but you keep buying trucks, buddy. Hey, gotta, gotta use that truck to make the money. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's, that, that is true. That is true. Okay, guys, <laughs> everything's plugged in. Let's go to mood mode. Okay, well, since we can't do, since we can't do the vote, Oh, thank gosh. Okay, let's go here. Okay, we're gonna turn off the lights. It's gonna slowly, there we go. We're gonna just get it down to mood mode. Maybe we're only gonna get, okay, there's one more. Okay, so we'll do, and we'll probably return that one on here in a minute, but Let's, uh, okay, BMOC, will it post? Your, your, your guess, your guess, will it post? Logic, thank you for the sub. One gifted sub, thank you. Rod and True, AMD B550, I go yes. Okay, he says yes. <laughs> Tom, are, is it gonna post? Uh, yeah, absolutely it will. Okay, here we go. Last light on. There it goes. Wow, that looks really pretty. Oh, and they're already purple. Look at that. Ooh, that looks that looks really good. <laughs> I forgot that the Zotac had this almost purple and green. So thematically, it actually looks really, really good already. Um, I'll do uh, I'll do the front view so you guys can see it. The, those AL fans just uh, they just hit a little bit different, right? Because they've got that little ring around them. That looks really good. The, the fans at the front with the extra, they just add a little bit. And with the poly, the, poly, the polygonal look of it, uh, came out really, really nice. Let me uh, get this other light back on here. The lighting on that Zotac is, is pretty awesome. It's actually pretty awesome, yeah. Okay, let's <laughs> get this really uh, get this more straight here. Roby, did you know LG makes a C3 OLED now? I did not. Yeah, the 77 inch C3 2023 model is $3,600. Yeah, that sounds about right for like their newer stuff. Yeah. Okay, so let's get you that side camera view there. That looks really good, guys. What do you think? That came out really hey, clean. The Zotac actually ended up looking, I, I was a little worried that the Zotac wouldn't fit, but with the lighting the way it is, oh, I don't, oh, that, now the Corsair is being funky. Um, IQ decided to take it over. had a question over. too, Robin. What? BMOC had a question too. What's up, BMOC? Somebody had uh, said something in chat about how you would orient the fans if you put some up top, and then I thought maybe you could go over real quick about why you didn't put any fans up top. Um, well, a couple things, uh, for the most part, uh, they're not needed. You could put a fan up top just to add extra exhaust, but to be honest, like the, the thing is, is that they're like, usually you could do it for aesthetic purposes, but I just don't need to. Um, this has got, this has got more than enough airflow and cooling, but if you wanted to add fans up top, you, the, would you, one thing you'd have to be really careful for is you'd need to make sure that the fans are far enough back that you're not starving air from the cooler so it'd have to be like pretty far into the back but the big thing is is that if you if you're exhausting air uh this way you're actually pulling air you are pulling air that would be directly cooling uh your uh your cooler so that's that's why i didn't do it but um if i if i, if I had this over here if i had this fan 
up front. I'd be more apt with okay with putting one up there, um, but it, you're just basically creating uh, airflow disruption at that point in time. Thoughts on my answer, BMOC? Yep, perfect. Yeah, that's um, same thing, yeah. Okay, uh, by the way, the question is, does it post? And the question is, the answer is yes. I am going to very quickly, because it's annoying me, the IQ is red. I'm gonna go fix that right now, because red is not okay. Not when we, not when we have everything else set, but we are posted and in here and ready to go already. I'd say most people are used to the, the, the feature builds and stuff with the AIOs and all the fan slots filled up. So when they see one that doesn't, isn't full of fans, they're kind of like, huh, I wonder what's going on here. Yeah. And it's also the other thing too, is that uh, I knew the other thing that we also have to recognize as well, guys, just transparently is it's also to keep costs down. Um, it, I, when I want, sometimes when I build and I choose builds, I want to choose builds that make sense you know what I mean? So it's like, if the more that I do that, if somebody wants to come in and I, I, you know, people come and select builds to say, hey, I have a budget around this amount. I mean, I don't want to feel like they're wasting a lot of money um, uh, when, they're, when they're selecting one of my builds. So this is the way of making sure. Um, I know this is a giveaway PC, but the, 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 the video will live well beyond the giveaway. So it's important to, uh, to keep that in mind that it's, it's sometimes these serve a dual purpose. Keep changes. Okay, let's go to 1440p. And then we'll, keep, we'll choose our resolution down to 150. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go to IQ. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually choose the lighting effects. And then instead of doing this, we're gonna uh, go to here, go to custom, go to uh, static. Then we're gonna choose purple. I don't know why these are red. This sounds like MSI is doing something. So I'm gonna check MSI Center. But it wasn't, MSI Center wasn't seeing it before. While you're looking at that, one more thing on the LG. Uh, it does have built-in burn-in prevention. Um, and also LG's in a tool that's built in called pixel cleaning that uh, you should do um, on a scheduled basis. There we go. Okay, so let's fix. Oh, nice. Okay. So we'll go to profile one. We're going to go to DRAM. And then we could, I, it sounds like this was not working before, which is actually pretty crazy. But before... Okay, so it, it, it wasn't working before, but now for some random reason it is. So we're, uh, we do have the purple back, um, but uh, <laughs> it was, uh, when, I, when I did this with the uh, testing uh, prior to this, um, it was like, so now it looks like you could just not use Corsair. You could actually just use Mystic Light, and Mystic Light, once you install IQ, can't actually see it. It's more of like a periwinkle actually. So we're gonna give us a little bit more blue. There we go, that's better. So that's uh, 255, 22, 52. I'm gonna change it here. I can actually do this and just say Mystic Light, there we go. And then now it will stay that way. Okay, cool. But I'm gonna go to hardware lighting. I'm gonna change this and go to settings. And then we're gonna change it to uh, more like this blue and more blueish there. No, nope, that's too purple. More. And then a little bit more of a bluish purple. More like that. More in the range here. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got that set. So even if it shuts off, we're good. Okay, now, so we got that good. We're good to go now. Question that we have that I forgot to answer is how much does this PC weigh? So we're gonna shut it down real quick and do the vote on this. Let's grab our scale. So you guys can see it. 
I think this is a, a neat little segment you added here because people that may want to build this PC, maybe they're using a TV tray as their computer desk right now, or they don't have a desk that can support the PC they really want. So having a scale in there, I think it definitely helps out. Okay, we're gonna go to top down here. Zoom out, yes, for sure. So we'll actually start showing you how much systems weigh. There is the, oh, this is actually, this actually has a battery in it. Oh, that's cool, I did not know that. Make sure you guys can see the weight. Okay, so there is the weight right there. Move it over a little bit. Okay, so let's unplug this all. Okay, here we go, guys. Roby, what's your guess on it? Uh, I'm gonna guess it's uh, it's close to 40 pounds. All right. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm actually terrible at this. I have no idea. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> oh, dude, I wasn't even close. There it is. 26.35. Oh, dude, the camera. What the heck? Oh, that's weird. Hold on one sec, guys, sorry. Oh, you're on the wrong one, sorry, my bad. There's the weight. There it is, 26.35 pounds for this build. There we go. Side panel, okay, well, okay, I'll put the side panel on. Because it, it is tempered glass, this will add weight, so that's fair. It's still not enough to, uh, to change any. Uh... So 31 pounds with the side panel. I mean, dude, that side panel is like four. That's, that's like five four, pounds. That's five <laughs> pounds just on that. Just to, There's only one thumb screw, so there's not four. There's only one, and I, I can put it in, but it's not going to change to make a difference. Hold on. I'll put it on just so you guys can see total weight. Definitely lighter than I expected. Yeah, when when Bimak and I were going over these, we, we, we looked up the case. The net weight of the case was, uh, uh, what was it, 17 pounds, Bimak? Right. The so, net weight of the case was 17 pounds, and we figured 35 would be the start. We figured between 35 and 55, but there's no AIO, there's less wires. Yeah, and the GPU weighs less than we typically did. Yeah. Okay, you guys want to see this? How much this versus a uh, the 7000D? What the how much the 7000D weighs? Because I have it right here. You got a forklift to put it on. There? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so here we go. That was this is the uh, this is the one that we just built. So I'll move it out of the way real quick, and I'll put up the 7000D. 31 pounds. That's pretty. That's that's pretty light. Yeah, 31 pounds for that one. Okay, next up, 7000D. This is the 4090 7000D system that we built. Hey, I've, I've seen that scale before. That's the one from downstairs. Ooh, 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 shoot. Ooh, gosh. Don't pull anything. <laughs> almost 60 pounds. <laughs> Holy cow, almost double the weight. There you go, 60 pounds. That was a big chungus build. Of course, this build is wow. obviously quite a bit more, right? Yeah. So that's a 4090 AIO, like, like all the fixins, all the trimmings on this one. Yeah, it's a heavy boy. Four, a 420 millimeter AIO. Was that in a 7000D? <laughs> Yeah, this is in the side of 7000D. Because it was all about having, oh, this is a 13900KS. Sorry, this is a 13900KS build. So we had a four, we put it at 420 on it. Okay, I'm gonna lower this. This really, it's really heavy. 
60 pounds is a lot to lift, and it's not, it's not not awkward to carry, you know? That, you definitely don't want to drop it. Yeah, you definitely don't want to drop it because it's not cheap either. Okay, there you go. That's the difference between the two systems. Well, now that we've turned it up, we, now that we've turned on the PC, we know how much it weighs, and we now have the next goal in mind for the next PC. Since this PC over here officially has a winner, uh, the winner of, can we get a drum roll, guys? Can we get a drum roll? The winner of the new PC. Drum roll, guys. <laughs> <laughs> drum roll, that's a really terrible, okay. Congratulations to Sergeant Nobody 17. Sergeant right. Nobody 17 is the winner of the, um, is the winner of the St. Patrick's Day build. He, look, he says, yes, yeah, he's actually here in chat. So he was the one there who he won. He there was the are. one who won the, uh, the, the St. Patrick's Day build. Congrats, that's amazing. Tom wanted to enter to win. No, I'm, I'm good on that one. <laughs> not that there's nothing wrong with it. You know, that's for the community. So yeah. Yeah, Sergeant, no, congratulations on winning the PC. Uh, guys, you can be the next guy. So Sergeant Nobody actually put in five entries, so he's not eligible to win. So he just helps some other people because he can't win, he can't win anything for I think a year. Um, after winning a PC, obviously. Um, but let's uh, let's turn it back on, do the peel, and let's see how good it is. Ugh. That was so much lighter than the other one. Doesn't hurt my back. Yep, you're correct. PCs and GPU, according to the official rules, they're not eligible to win any other prizes for a year. So, but I think that's pretty. I think he's okay with that. Or there, or I think Sergeant Nobody's okay with that. Excuse me. Yeah. Please still hang around, Sergeant Nobody. Please still come and visit us. A lot of people's like, that's the thing I'm always worried about when people win, you're like, and they never come back. So. <laughs> He's, they say, I'll live. Sergeant yeah. Nobody says, I'll live. <laughs> so congratulations. He's got, this one will now take this, the spot of this one right here um, and will be the PC on display for this month. But there, this one is now up for grabs, guys. Officially on and set up. Let's do our peel. Our uh, we haven't we need to do our bill our peel for the for the glass here. Cause we got to test thermals. I'm curious. My hey, Roby, can I ask you a question about that case? What's that? Um, it, it's on Cooler Master's website. Um, can you reach out to them and, and see when the official release date? Oh yeah, is? yeah. We need to find that out. I was like, we, we were originally, this was supposed to be inside of a, um, I was actually, it was supposed to be inside of a different case, um, but I was like, I want a more relevant case. And then I remembered we actually had this and I was like, oh, we should do it in this. And then uh, I was like, Tom, and Tom's like, yeah, when is it gonna be for sale? I was like, what, it's still not for sale? Cause he did the review on this a long time ago. And uh, the winner of this will also get this handy dandy uh, gem thing that lets you hold your controller and stuff. So you'll get that too. Um, so you, it's a it's a twofer giveaway. It's a twofer, twofer, twofer. You can win twice. Okay, let's go into capture mode here. Okay, so what we're gonna do real quick is we're just gonna take a look at uh, how this thing performs. So we've got a bunch of games in here, but let's just test. First thing we're gonna test is Cinebench and just see if how our temperatures are. Um, because I wanted it, I, I didn't, I didn't actually, uh, I didn't actually, um, I didn't actually uh, we, I wasn't planning on doing the cooling this way, so. I have a feeling that it's gonna be fine, but I just wanna make sure. I'm gonna guess 75C. Yeah, it's, dude, this thing is, they, they, they're not, they don't get hot. I was gonna go lower, I was gonna go around like 71. That's okay. You can vote much, different. I know it's not much lower, but I didn't. I don't. I don't think it'll hit seventy-five. I'll just be honest. Well, we will see. I have set no curves on this, but I don't think you'll need to. It's just using the standard CPU curve, so I think we'll be good there anyway. But uh, then again, the last AMD chip that I used was the fifty-eight hundred X, 
and we all know how that one did that not run got. quiet. Yeah, that one was that was <laughs> no. not that one is not a cool CPU. Okay, here we go. Multi core. There it is right there. Oh, it's above 75. Oh, all right. 76. I mean, that's still really, really, really good for the air cooler. Yeah, and it's super quiet. And, and again, like you said, the other stream, you're not going to hit that gaming. No, all the no, time. This, it'll it's, be nowhere near like this. Yeah. So, yeah, this is fine. And, dude, the one thing I will tell you about the AL fans is, like, even when they're spun up, they're not. Hey, Skylar Black, thank you for the raid. Two viewers, appreciate you, my friend. Uh, even when you're running, even when you're doing, um, even when you're doing uh, the, the high stuff, the actual volume on this thing is actually really good. It's not loud. The fan, I like these fans a lot. So I got up to 80. Okay, so we should probably, uh, we should probably cancel, right? I wonder if I don't have, I don't know if the curve is all that, but 80 is fine. It's probably gonna get, it looks like it's gonna get warmer. We're still way under. Yeah, I don't know what you got the uh, fan profile set to in BIOS. Uh, right now, it's not really set to much. So sometimes, um, like mine defaulted to silent sometimes. So. I mean, but still 80 is not, nothing to be worried about. We could get it to no, run cooler if you wanted to. We get spoiled with the big AIO cool temps. Yeah, but I like that this is an a this is an air cooler and it's very quiet, even under max. So gaming wise, we're not going to be anywhere near this temp. So yeah, we could change the I could change the fan curve. There's some other things we could do to get it probably a little bit colder, but. I have no issue with where this is from a cooling standpoint. So there we go, guys. Totally good. Now the question is, let's uh, let's just see what our let's just do. Uh, we'll do a couple, and then we'll do our final giveaway, guys. Remember, we're at the very end here, so we got to get our we do have to get our likes in because if we want to unlock that giveaway right now, the only thing we have is two twenty-five dollar New A gift cards. Or sorry, a fifty dollar New A gift card. If we want to unlock that other $25 new gift card, we got to get that likes up. We're at 215 right now. So 4070, we're going to go to our monitoring really quick. We're going to chat GPU temperature, change it to RTX 4070. Not 4079. It's so funny. I'm so used to doing high-end builds that uh, to do stuff like this. Okay, so we probably want we want core clock. I don't worry about that. Show on the tray. Is this something else? Memory clock. I don't know if we care about, but I'll put it on there anyway. Uh, power we want. We want memory. Where is memory usage? Sorry. Rob, you got a viewer wants to know what your thought is on pre-applied thermal phase. Um, so if you, in, unless, you, so we've done a little bit of testing for the most part, like the difference can, in temperature can be sometimes as much as half a degree or one degree, um, then thermal, then pre-applied thermal paste. Uh, but it's, is it really worth dealing with? It's up to you. No, not really. I just like doing it because I like to do the paste stuff, but to be honest, the, the, the pre-applied thermal paste is actually almost the exact same method I do. It's just spread on the other side. The only thing I'd be concerned about is when you're using circular, um, so circular AIOs. Um, circular AIOs can be uh, a little bit more finicky because they only have a very small amount. And there's actually on the chiplets and stuff on uh, Ryzen and then even uh, the some of the core stuff on, um, on Intel it can be wider out. So that's where I wouldn't do pre-applied thermal paste. But if you're using like a big square, like a new, like a Corsair um, or any of the newer pumps that have big square blocks, uh, the pre-applied thermal paste is fine. Anything to add to that, gentlemen? Oh, this one I want to go in there too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I mean, most of the time, uh, 
I'm gonna use the, the pre-applied even if it's for myself. I mean, the technology's come so so far that most of these companies that are making coolers um, are legit and they're and they're using legit paste. So they yeah, a no, lot of them I like agree. yeah a lot of them like are like they pride themselves on the on the cool on the stuff that they use. So it really is good enough. Um, so yeah, you really are. It's just I it's it's part of the show. So I like to do it. I mean, if you're doing crazy overclocking, then, you know, you may want to may wanna choose, like, some, some higher-end paste, but if you're just building a PC to, to play some games and, and uh, watch some awesome Robitech builds, then pre-applied is going to work just fine. <clears throat> Build mine to, to watch Robitech builds in the gaming second there. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's which is totally fine. I that's mean, what you should do. I mean, who, I mean, what else is there, right? <laughs> you guys are great. We'll send you our Venmo after this. Yeah, exactly. That sounds about right. <laughs> okay, guys, we're all set for this. Let's just take a look at, let's just see if we see higher scores in Modern Warfare and stuff like that now. Get some, get a little bit. So we'll do 1440p. Check it out. I did have Destiny 2. I forgot to actually, sorry, Blondie, I forgot to uh, actually go into it. Hey, Neo Bear, thank you for the sub. Logix, thank you for the sub. High Country, thank you for the sub. How are we doing on subs on? So we've only had Sinful uh, over on the, uh, over on the uh, kick side, but I'd love to see, can we get like 10 more subs over on kick? Uh, I'd love, I really do want to give away at least a GPU and a CPU if we can. So you can pop on over to kick.com slash Robitech. Drop a sub, that would be a huge help towards unlocking some awesome, and then you're entered to win a GPU too. So on top of the great PC that we're giving away uh, over on Twitch and Discord. Dago Org says he used the included thermal paste with the deep cool cooler and is getting 50C max temps on his processor. There you go. VTN, thank you very much for the, the, the gifted sub as well. Blue Punk, thank you for the follow over on uh, on Kick. We're coming. We're over a hundred followers now. Thirty-five viewers. Okay, let's get. Hey, it, it hasn't crashed. Remember last <laughs> time it didn't even make it this far, Bmock. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I really um, wanted to see how I did, but we'll get to see now. Yeah, we will. Okay, let me, uh, let me fix one thing in MSI. Wait, where did MSI go? It was open and then it wasn't open. What happened to it? Is MSI, where did MSI go? It's not up here anymore, so it's definitely closed. We'll, we'll shut down and then rest, uh, go from there. I just want to make sure MSI Afterburner was pretty tiny, so I want to get that fixed. Good night, Sergeant Nobody. Thanks for hanging out, man. Oh, no, that's there. Okay, skip. Okay, I'm gonna exit. And then just fix this. Just make this bigger so you guys can actually see it. Which I don't know where it's at. Where is this at? It's like running, but it's not running. Okay, I was like, that was weird. Okay, let's go to monitoring, on-screen display, more. There we go, and then put it down. Good. Okay, here we go. Now let's load it. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so far, guys, uh, you guys had a good show. Like, are people enjoying what we've built and done so far? I just want to make sure that you guys are happy. Is there anything we could do better? Love to see your, your, your feedback. Again, that's how we improve the show. So if there's something that we, uh, we can do better, let us know. And definitely head over to discord.gg slash robitech and let us uh, give us some feedback. Things like the way contest, things like the having text in the chat, things like, uh, you know, music or whatever it was. We love to have that. Guys, 226 to 250, we're getting really close to that last one. Well, that's really big, but I mean, we're here for, we're here for, uh, we're here for, uh, for, for benchmarking anyway. Hey, Rookie Beard. Wondering? Did you see that? Did you see what he, Rookie said? Mm -mm. He said, Roby, this is the first time I've ever watched something this long on Twitch. Dude, that means a lot, dude. That's huge. I really appreciate that. Okay, here we go. Jumping in on this finally. Frame times. There we go. We get the frame time graph. I have to say, like, I was really glad that this got brought up. I forgot about this. So it's been really cool to actually have you guys on because it's even changed how I do stuff. Okay, so let's go to Modern Warfare. Let's go to settings. We're going to go to graphics. So we're full screen, Ninja 40, uh, frame rate. We want unlimited. <laughs> Go to quality, go to basic. We're gonna go to DLSS. We go to performance, uh, nope, balanced. Not, there you go, balanced, and there we go. Okay, so this is like best case. Uh, one right here. Run our benchmark. Uh, still waiting for our shaders, sorry. We gotta wait for these to done. For anybody wondering, the, the 5800X3D actually does better than the 7700X in Modern Warfare. Oh, really? Yep. Then I guess that 3D cache, you know, is, this is one of the games where that 3D cache actually gives it a boost. We're just waiting for shader optimizations to get finished. You guys can see it up here in the top left, and then we'll we'll see how this basically does. This is to give you guys some love. Like you guys are like, yes, I want to win this PC and we can see how good it is. And boom. Okay, shader optimization done. Run our benchmark, start. Okay, here we go. Vcash, well this game does not use a lot of, uh, this game does not use a lot of VRAM. Uh, Figment, that doesn't necessarily, that's actually, it might actually have something to do with your security on your MOBO. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, wow. So this is actually, this is actually higher than I thought. Because what did we get on the, what did we get on the mobile? It's like 140. Wasn't that what we got on the mobile? Oh, this is way better than I thought it was going to be. Wow. Okay, I'm impressed. I thought this was gonna be like 170 or 180. This is like north of 200 easily. Yeah, the wattage is only 150 watts. The Ryzen's only pulling 73 watts. And it's like, dude, this is like awesome. Now, we, of course we're using DLSS, so this isn't native, but again, uh, DLSS for something like latency is actually super low too. The frame times, look at that. I mean, the frame times are like, everything right here is low. I do have an actual latency thing now, by the way, uh, BMOC. I actually have a thing that we can use and we'll, we'll, I'm gonna figure out how to use it, but we can actually see the latency between monitor and keyboard um, for different settings too. Oh, that's 200, pretty cool. 222 frames per second. That is way, for a uh, $1,900 system, I mean, at 1440p, that's pretty dang good. Um, why don't we try, just for fun, let's check 1080p. Which is, this is flexing a little bit more of that 5800X 3D. We're gonna go to quality, we're gonna change it to 
quality now. Because again, it's, we're gonna make sure it's the same. Okay, so here we are, 1920 by 1080. Let's see what we get on this one. 222 on 1440. Yeah, this is why, like somebody was asking why this, it's, this is a great match. Honestly, this system, not just aesthetically is very pretty, but uh, I will say just from a gameplay, like this is a great match of CPU and GPU um, with, the, with uh, the 5800X 3D and a 4070 or a 4070 Ti. So we're, okay, we're getting close to 300 on this. There's a couple over 300 right there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, I don't know about you, Tom, but I wouldn't kick this, this PC out of bed for eating crackers. Absolutely not. What was that one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll run it at extreme. I'll do extreme, uh, we'll do extreme 1440p after this, just to make it look pretty. The prettiest, the prettiest Call of Duty ever. What what is it what does it run? What is that what what did you have on the what was that uh that um that one, that, that one is called narrator. <laughs> uh El Ku Kashi it was draw it was uh update your Jeep uh, update your uh, display your driver. I feel like the display the new driver makes a big difference. I don't know if you've updated it or not. Okay, here we go. We're going to go to 1440p. And then we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to extreme. Extreme. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do DLSS on performance, or sorry, on balance. Uh, video memory scale. Oh, look at this. Let's uh, let's just. Okay, so it may we'll leave it at eighty five percent. That's fine. We're gonna leave sharpness alone. Okay, it's, it's all the way, guys. Here we go. What are we gonna see? We went from 200, so we got, oh, what, almost 40 frames more at 1080p? A Morgan Freeman, oh, a Morgan Freeman filter? I wonder if this will even hit, oh, no, it's, it's north of 100. So you could do 120 FPS, you're gonna get 120, you could do 120, maybe 144. I think it'll be 120 though. No, maybe 144. It looks like 144 will be okay. If you had 144 uh, hertz monitor. Maybe even 165. Man, this looks way better. It's funny because Call of Duty on Extreme still doesn't look, it still doesn't look crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, I think it'll be like 140, 144, 140, somewhere. We got some pretty nice, we got some big fatty dips there at the end. One, okay, you're, I was wrong, 160, 160. Guys, 232 of 250. We only need like 18 more likes. And we're trying to get 10 more subs over on Kick to hit all of our goals for today. Okay, there it is. Okay, so there's Call of Duty. So that's pretty good. What do you guys think, Tom? That's that's a pretty that's a pretty good uh, pretty good uh, run there. Yeah, that's a that's a really good run. Right there. And the 4070. I'm, I'm impressed with it. Yeah, it would, dude, 99% GPU because it was running extreme. Yeah. But that 5800X3D is a, a monster CPU too, so. Yeah. You know, if I was in the, if I was in the market for one and, and did want to go to PDR5 just yet, then that's the, that's the CPU to grab over everything. Roby, uh, Roby, what's the next trade show or road show you're going to be attending? So I'm going to attend, I'm t attending NED <laughs> this weekend. So I'm going to the North American Broadcast. Uh, as an attendee, uh, and then the next thing after that is, I don't know, I think I'll probably end up at LTX. I have a feeling I'll be at, I'll end up at LTX. Uh, PAX West for sure, um, and uh, I don't know beyond that, but PAX West and LTX, I would almost guarantee. I There's rumor of me going to some dream hacks, but I don't know about that. 
PAX West is in September. Uh, I will I, I will get Destiny. Let me see if I can get Destiny set up. Destiny 2 set up. All right, Roby, I'm going to head out for the night. I appreciate you having me on. You, Roby. Thank you very much for hanging out as long as you did, BMOC. Have a great night. All right, you too. Good night, everybody. Good night, BMOC. Tom is my spirit animal. That's what Ricky says. I don't know how long you uh, how long ago you asked me that question, uh, Nissa. I'm sorry if I didn't respond as quickly as I could. Uh, the software we're using, Z Manscar, is called uh, MSI Afterburner, uh, and you can just search for MSI Afterburner, and it's the top entry. And then you you can go back and watch. Uh, you can go back and watch my stream to uh, figure out what uh, figure out what what settings I'm changing to uh, to to show the stuff that I'm showing. So you should be able to watch the stream and just find it back in here, and it'll show you how to set it up. Team Shady, thank you for the like. You got to be getting close. We're breaching. Okay, let's go to settings. Let's go to graphics. We are at, well, let's look at video first. Uh, 2560 by 1440. We don't have VSync on. Let's go to graphics. It's on ray tracing ultra. Let's just go to overdrive, turn on frame generation. Set uh, DLSS to balance and just see how this does if we see a better performance than what we saw yesterday. Here we go. Starting, this is the best it can do in 1440p with the worst possible stuff. All right, look at that VRAM just getting chewed up. I don't remember what yesterday was. What was it? Okay, so we're looking at 60 right now. Wow, this is with frame generation. It does seem like the frame time, it feels like it's smoother. Still see some micro jitters. Yeah, there's some micro jittering there. But the frame time, like the graph seems fine. It does seem like the uh, the frame time is actually higher than what it typically is, uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, Hogwai, we actually, I've been playing uh, Cyberpunk with this on, on my 4090 uh, with my at home, and it's been awesome though. It's been really, really good. <laughs> Sinful. Yeah, Tom's just having fun right now. Hey, Riddick dropping five more gifted subs, taking us even higher, guys. Thank you very much. Can we get five more? And then we will hit the goal on kick. And uh, how many likes do we have? Are we close? Uh, Overdrive is still not ready for prime time. And the, honestly, to be clear, even the folks over at CD Projekt Red said this is a tech demo. It is not going to be... Uh, it is not for uh, it is not for prime time, but I've been playing with it. And if you have a very high end piece, a very high end thing, then yes. Guys, we have 12 likes. There are not we got more than enough people. Let's get those last 12 likes. There are there are a number of you who obviously have not liked because there's 326 people here. Yeah. Okay. Let's just now let's just see what it is. Let's do just typical, if you're gonna play this without frame generation, we're gonna change this to Ray Tracing Ultra. Uh, we're gonna set it to balanced. Uh, we're gonna turn path tracing should not be off. Okay, path tracing. So this is, if you were just gonna go play Cyberpunk as CD Projekt Red intended um, and NVIDIA intended on a 4070 with a 5800X 3D. Like on YouTube. There we go, 72-ish, right? So we actually only gained like 60 frames. Sorry, we only gained about 10, 10 or so frames 
uh, turning off the higher end ray tracing. Still some spikes though, still some micro stutters there. I feel like this is like, I don't, I don't, I feel like the, it didn't turn off. This feels like not right. Mm. That almost looks the same. Oh, you know why? I just realized I don't have frame generation on. So this is not frame generation. That's why it's the same. It looks the same. It does not look, the actual lighting looks different um, slightly. It, this is, this demo, the, the benchmark is not a good demo to show, um, to show uh, uh, path tracing. Uh, playing the game, path tracing looks significantly different. Okay, so here it is that. So now let's throw in frame generation um, or frame, yeah, frame generation. And then you'll see that'll be, that'll be more indicative. Uh, but 80 frames, if you don't want to use frame generation, which people are very against. So you're going to get about 80 frames at 1440p. I feel like I, I should be higher. Did you guys, I feel like, I feel like it just started Riddick. I don't think that existed before. In need of temperance, nice. That my uh, my dog gets in the covers and farts. So yeah, I hear you. Okay, so let's do frame generation on, and then that'll be kind of it. And then after that, we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll call it we'll call it for uh, people who don't want to stick around for some gaming. I don't know what I'm gonna play. Hey, Loki SMS, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate you for doing that. Riddick again that's, with the five gifteds over on thing. Okay, see, there you go. There it is, north of 100 right that's there. That's better, that's better. That's what I was expecting. Oh, look at how smooth that is now. Yeah, those micro stutters are gone. So, I mean, this is completely playable. This is like beautiful, this is right here is beautiful Cyberpunk 2077. So if you have a 4070, uh, you're good to go. Uh, what esports do you play? Um, actually, if I could play any esport, I would be a Hearthstone player. I love Hearthstone. Uh, uh, if I other one that I really like, I've actually really started getting into Fortnite again. So I actually really enjoy playing Fortnite. Um, I think we were talking about Fortnite Fridays um, with and Blondie and some other ones. So I got to get that more cemented. So we might get some Fortnite Fridays going. That might be keyboards plus Fortnite. Um, uh, Apex I've played, I actually do play Apex. I used to play Apex a lot with Cole and with uh, in the morning mixer time. So Everspace 2, I've, Hogwa, I've heard that. I actually have that downloaded, but I haven't played it yet. Maybe we could check that out tonight. Maybe we play some Everspace 2. It looks like a game I would like. And there we go, guys, 111.28 frames per second. And that is it. I think we were going to check one more game out just because we showed it yesterday. Uh, we we're going to check out Hogwarts and then we'll we'll call it and do giveaways. Four likes away, guys. OK, let's drop. OK, here's Hogwarts. We could play Destiny, too. That's another game that I have. I mean, we could play Destiny 2. I haven't played Destiny 2. I know, Hogwai, it's uh, apparently we're going to get information on it in June. Oh, Figment. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. For, <laughs> we're going to see the guy painting. Hey, Roby, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take off. Well, thank you very much, Tom, for hanging out, man. We'll see you later. And we're gonna, that is the end of our text section. I'm gonna go ahead and mute the text now, so. Tom's out. Everybody's saying bye to Tom. Just waiting for Hogwarts to pop in here. That is true, that is true. I did say that, you're all right, you're all right. I 
And I just have to say, I really actually like to play this game for the simple fact that I like to show you guys just how attractive my, uh, my uh, uh, Hogwarts Legacy player is. This is very pretty. I think I did a good job. I think many, many, many a lady want to date him. Tombot's got to go charge. Yeah, Tombot's got to go plug in. I don't know. I mean, it's interesting, Cole. If we got to something like around this time, would you be down to play games at this time in the evening, or is it too late? You usually play COD, though, don't you? Like, you're a COD player. I'm trying to see if people would play at this late, like at this hour. Though, our builds usually don't end this early. This is a simpler build. Yeah, it's really. I need to do the, I need to do the uh, move your Destiny 2 character over. Yeah, it's late for East Coasters. Cole's like, after school it's on. That's why I want to do like an earlier one where like maybe we do like an hour of keyboards at like, you know, maybe that even starts earlier, like three or four. So that way we can play like, I want to play multiplayer games with people. So I think like three or four, three or four Pacific time. I, yeah, I like, I really like building keyboards and I, and I have a company that wants to send me all the keyboards I want to build. I did not see Hearthstone had buddies back. Yeah, so if I started like five, Yeah, I'd like to play. I think people would like to see me do some first-person shooters. One more, guys. Okay, so here we are. This is Hogsmeade, which is like the worst place. Oh, never mind. We're not in Hogsmeade. Okay, let me see what our settings are, because it looks like we're capped again. Uh... Oops. Okay, let's go to graphics. Uh, DLSS. Frame rate. Oops. Let's go, oops. Uncapped. Okay, uh, we wanna go to frame generation is on. DLSS is set to balance is actually where we should be. Um, and frame generation there. Okay, let's go to here. Uh, sorry, let's go to here. Camera sensitivity here. Oh, sorry, camera acceleration down at that camera. There we go. There we go. So that seems pretty good, 168 frames per second. There's quite a few little micro stutters in this, but I mean, people said that that's pretty typical for running around hog, uh, uh, Hogwarts. And then we can check Hogsmeade here. And go look at the painting. What are your favorite? I like Holy Pandas. Uh, but I have some links linears now, and then there's a company that's sending me a bunch. I need to text them and find out where they are. They're supposed, I think they're supposed to send me a care package, but I haven't gotten it yet, so I gotta find out where that's at. Whoa, frame, look at that frame time, wow. Lots of little frame time graphs there, but let's go see if the, paint, if the person's painting. Look at that VRAM shooting up. Still 150, oh, she's not there. There's nobody painting. We can't look at the painter, guys. There we go. This is 1440p, not 1080p. This is 1440p. So, I mean, this is like, at, at everything is on ultra with uh, four, with uh, at Ultra, so, which is good. 
Yeah, rookie is usually in the she. He and she are usually in the in the corner over there by the lake. Okay, guys. Well, there we go. If you're interested in a thirty, uh, sorry, a forty seventy, um, a forty seventy, uh, fifty eight hundred. This is a great build, um, just to basically take a look at from uh, just the overall graphic standpoint. Uh, in terms of just a great pairing. Uh, this build, if you were gonna build it, would be just around 2K, a little, even a little bit less than 2K. Um, and uh, it just, it, I mean, I think it's just very, it's, it came out very pretty. Uh, you could save some money not replacing, the, not replacing the fans like what we did, but I mean, geez, this, this, it's just a very attractive build. Uh, and then you can win it. Uh, if you are uh, watching over on uh, Twitch or Discord, you can win this. Uh, this build is going to be up for grabs for Twitch or Discord subs. Uh, we've covered that already. Um, and then uh, if you wanted to, uh, and then again, for you folks watching over on Kick, we have the uh, GPU and um, CPU giveaway that we got going over there. So yeah, it should be good. Yeah, Zan Zamanskar, for, for the price for this build is actually really, really good. And I really like the, the fans, the, the front fans. That's just a very attractive looking case build right there. So yeah, it's just, it came out really, really good. So <clears throat> I did not find, I actually haven't looked at anything. So yeah. Yeah, so beautiful build. And all that sort of stuff. Okay, so giveaways. We did we hit 250? I think we did, right? I think the sub goal's finally been done. Okay, so $25 new a gift card and $50 new a gift card up for grabs. Uh, oh, if you are over on kick, you need to pop over to twitch.tv slash robitech uh, to enter to get to do the giveaways, guys. So that's the last part of this right now. So we're gonna do those giveaways. Loudbot. Okay, so first thing up for grabs, exclamation point community. This is the uh, this is the uh, twenty five dollar new a gift card. Uh, up for grabs right now, twenty five dollars, exclamation point community guys. Why you guys are doing that? Let's see if I can get my Destiny two stuff to work over here. Okay, let's see here what I can do to do this. I'm gonna do take care of this real quick. I gotta read through the privacy statement. <laughs> Right through the privacy statement. Guys, look how fast I'm reading. Done. Okay, I got a link. Oh, there we go. So, so these should all be accounts. Desert can clown are now playable on your connected accounts. Okay. Hey, cool. So I can hit accept. Okay, so I should be able to see them now. Oh, I wonder which account this is. Oh, this might not be the right. Oh, because I forgot we have a different, uh, this might be attached to my other Steam account. Uh, 
Okay, I don't, I have to link the account. Hold on, let me, let me do this. Oh, I need to, I need to unlink, I wonder if I can unlink an account. So this is not, this is like, I need to unlink an account. Oh, no, okay. Okay, so this is not, yeah, I have to say. Oh, congratulations, Silent Wraith over on YouTube. You are the winner of the uh, $25 Newegg gift card. Okay, next one is exclamation point Newegg now. This is the $50 Newegg gift card. Okay, $50 Newegg gift card up for grabs. Okay, starting that giveaway right now. Hold on one sec, guys. Let's see if I can disconnect another one and get back into it because I need to I need to log out hold on okay let's go to uh I want to go back to oh I know I want to go to bungee.net sorry okay here we go uh uh hold on uh how do I Okay. okay, I wanna, how do I unlink an account? Is there a way to remove an account? Uh, so I need to, I wanna, I switched accounts, but it doesn't say, I have them all in here, but they're not the right way. I have Epic, but I don't have, I guess I could play on Epic and then it would work. I just need to not do it on, I need to not do it on, uh, I need to download it on Epic to make this work. Cause my Steam one is, You'll not be, uh, you're, okay, so it says, cont okay, so I can, I understand. So it says it lets me, there is a way to unlink it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I don't know what happened here. I was all there, it was all good. Oh, there it is. So there's, apparently there is a way to actually create, okay, uh, let me see where we are on the winner. Sorry, my guys. Uh, congratulations to Ed, Ed Yucabra. Ed Yucabra, you are the winner of the uh, giveaway. So congratulations, you guys. And there you go from there. Um, I'm trying to see, figure out how to undo my cross save here. So, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it looks like I'm gonna play Destiny 2. Uh, let me do it this way, hold on one sec. Let me see what this takes. I have it installed, but it's unfortunate because I want to play this, but I, I want to play my accounts, my stuff that I already have, right? Okay, let me do this, Alta 4. So we, I think we're gonna call it for tonight, guys, actually, it's 9.35, um, and I don't have any of the other games downloaded, so I don't want to wait for that stuff, and I thought maybe I could just jump into Destiny, but it's now I have to re-download it completely on a different platform. Um, so we will just call it here tonight. Uh, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody for tuning in. I want to play games, but the problem is is that uh, it wasn't it wasn't in. 
No, I did not. I meant Educurbra. For, yeah. Uh, cross saves can be fixed. It. Yeah, Andrew, I have to, like, unlink it on... I have to unlink it on... I have to unlink my Steam account because it's actually attached to my old Steam account, not my new Steam account. So uh, that's the problem. Um, so we will be back. Uh, the next stream actually won't be until Tuesday. It actually won't be until Tuesday next week, guys. So huge shout out to the techs who ch uh, chilled and voiced the whole time. Obviously, my moderators who stay up with us all the time as well um, and uh, for being so awesome. Uh, and then again, thank you very much to everybody who subbed both on uh, on Kick and also over on Twitch. Uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe over on Discord. We have some incredible AMAs that are gonna be happening on Saturday. Oh, that's an extra stream, Saturday, Amazon. And then we have the AMA for Discord subs on Amazon as well. And don't forget special giveaways for packs coming up for the subscribers over on Discord. They're gonna have exclusive giveaways and all that sort of stuff. So head over to discord.gg slash Robitech. If you've liked the show, all that community is over there as well. But anyway, guys, have a great night, and we will see you guys on the next episode. Bye, guys.
Still here hanging on